Did you eat the whole thing already? Choose wisely. <gasps> He probably does have an entire universe. Let me move my hair. Get out of the way, hair. We want to see Kirby. He finished it a while ago? Dang, dude. I am a, such a slow eater. Like, minimum, it usually takes me 20 minutes to eat something. But sometimes it'll take me like 40 minutes. <laughs> Hey, kiddo. I need to ask you a few questions, okay? This doesn't look good. Can you tell me what happened tonight? I... I went to show her my haircut. She had a gun. She... Take your time. Oh no. She freaked out. I, I. It's okay. No, it's not. It's not okay. My mom tried to kill me, so. Holy so shit. I stabbed her. I was not thinking it was gonna go that way. I killed my mother. Damn, what an opening. I literally thought the mom was like gonna commit suicide in front of her, not that she tried to kill her kid. Like, what? <laughs> non beat saber, yep. <laughs> yeah, right? Tell me why. Why did this happen? So this is 10 years later? I think it said 2005 and then now it's 2015. How's the game volume, by the way? I haven't used this um, scene in a really long time. Do I need to turn it up at all? Sounds good? Okay. I don't know. Maybe she had the gun and was going to kill herself, and then... Her kid was gonna see it, so she was gonna kill her kid first and then finish herself off. You know? I don't know. Oh, so pog means like cool or awesome. So it was like non beat saber stream, pog, like cool. <laughs> <laughs> recycle. Reuse. Recycle. Oh, yeah, it's funny, I didn't know what Pog meant until I started streaming. And everybody would say it all the time. And I was like, what does Pog mean? <laughs> Yes, it is weird. It's just lingo. Okay, it's first, I'm gonna find the keys to the old house. Then, I'm gonna drive to Fireweed, and I'm not going to freak out. Everything's fine. Okay. Find the keys to the old house while looking at every single thing else in the room, because that's how I play this game. But I'll find the keys first. Probably. That's funny. <laughs> oh, come on. 
Everyone's like, Pog. Why do I still have this? Every time I look at it, it reminds me of how very single I am. Single? Yeah, so what's this about? Is he gonna like this? Or is it too much? Okay, so she likes that guy, but they're not dating, is what I've gathered. I should probably check my email one more time before I go. No, I've already done that three times this morning. Oh, Jackal, thank you for stopping by. I think the stream's gonna go very well. I'm super excited to play this, so. I'm glad I made my chat big. It's easier to read you guys. Okay. Just a picture. Michael and Tyler. Sunshine, are so what's up? How's it going? Are you still at work? It's gonna be so crazy to see him after all these years. Oh. There's so much stuff to look I at. I should probably get rid of this. Still at work? <laughs> I mean, I can stream it anytime I want. But it makes me happy just to look at the box. Oh. Thanks for the resub. Okay, now I leave. <laughs> Thanks for that. I need to bring this with me to Juno. So Juno's where she's from. Sunshine, are you the kind of person who clicks on literally everything in the game when you play? I have got to make solid plans to see the Geminids. Oh, thanks for the alert. I Tyler would want to go. I'll ask you more when we get back. Hey, you want to freeze your ass off watching burning rocks fall through the sky? Yeah, I might need to work on my sales pitch. What's up, Short? Didn't I decide I was going to call you Ellie? I did. Not here. Thank you also for the alert, crew. Not here. Not here. Okay. Right. Unlurk. <laughs> hmm. Okay. Oh, right. I stashed them down here. Oh, really? Thank you. <laughs> I appreciate that. <laughs> what you doing under there? So that's where you've been hiding. So I'm kind of guessing that she hasn't been back to this house in 10 years since it happened. All right. I think I'm ready to go now. Not yet. I must look at the rest of everything. Oh. Ooh, <laughs> I can't wait to force Tyler to watch this with me. He's totally going to hate it. One more season. What am I even going to do with myself when it's over? Dude, Get invested right? in the lives of real people? <laughs> True, though. Oh, the little thing. Look like Baby Yoda. Little wooden doll. Probably not going to see any stars at this time of day. Hey, thanks, Farrowin. Have you not seen this before? <sighs> I've been practiced since high school. I'm probably super rusty. It's Xbox controller.
Uh, me? Yeah, I'm on earlier than normal. I don't normally stream this early. Can I not look in the mirror? Oh, there we go. You were saying her hair is nice? Pretty nice. Yeah, no, it's a uh, it's see through. Yeah, it's RGB. Uh, Ellie, she's gonna be so awkward. <laughs> Probably. Super awkward. Oh, do I get to play as both characters? Okay, hold on. I'm gonna read this. Tell me also if I need to move my camera to like be in a better spot for you guys to see stuff. Oh, it's her twin. Tintin. Whoa, already? Crazy. Read it out loud. Oh man, I'm already I've already read so much. I'll do the next one, I promise. Wait. He's been in Juvie? That's, this is being so interesting. Game's good so far. I have a hair in my mouth. Okay. So, this doesn't. I believe I'm about to leave this room for the last time. Okay, I'm pretty much done here. I just need to grab my goblin and I'm off. It doesn't look like Juvie. So, pretty much a really intense part happened in the very beginning. There was like a little girl in a police office room and. The guy was asking her questions and she said that her mom had a gun and tried to shoot her and so she freaked out and stabbed her mom and then it skipped 10 years in the future and then this is where we're at juvie i thought was just like a jail for teenagers so but i thought it was still jail oh uh, gonna miss these dum-dums i didn't think it was like um What's it called? Uh, like, army camp, you know? And it is a new shirt, actually. I got it at GameStop. Super cool, right? A rehab. Okay, what's up, Maddie? Bomb died to leave this behind, but the old house would probably collapse if I blasted this inside. <laughs> Man, the soundtrack to my oh, yeah? 15 years. <laughs> I'll leave it for the next Remy. They're going to need it more than I do. I've been listening to this in a loop lately. I have a um, Dragon Ball Z one also. And then uh, I didn't notice it at first, but it's a Fortnite shirt. It says, give me the loot. It's a llama. It's pretty cool. Man, he's going places. And I'll be able to say I helped him on his way. Right, Tyler. That was in that other picture. Hmm. Is there any way I can? No, that's someone else's problem now. Shit I gotta do. Tutoring. Help Perez with college admission essay. Call Dr. Beck. <laughs> eh, we don't need to read all that. Not important. Fork knife. I know most of these by heart at this point. A.A. Ron. <laughs> Wish I could have finished this before I left, but... God, it was a slog. I need to get back to reading my books. Hey, little guy. You're going to be reunited with your sister soon. Cute. He has one, too. They made them together, probably. Adorable. Oh, cool. Found the I first guess I'm game totally ready to go oh, now. Oh, cool. 
browse items in the pause menu. So By Herbert. Who names their plant? Herbert. You stay here. Educate the youngsters in classic cinema. I wonder if there's an achievement for clicking on everything. <laughs> the knowledge. I need to get my application ready for next summer. <laughs> I will get it. Take me. All right. What's up, Jasmine? So can I not take it though? Okay. Maybe he was leaving it to them. I did, he wrote that note, I guess. So, testosterone refill? Is that something teenagers are supposed to take? Okay, I'm not gonna question that. Um. So I guess he's been here for 10 years, I'd imagine. Hunzy buns, what's up? Oh, hey, it's from AA Ron. It just came out actually, like last week. Hey, Aaron, AA Ron, I should say. No, it's not, why not? That's too, oh, you right. You right. You know I'm bad at this, but just wanted to say you've been the best counselor. Oh, he was a counselor. An at-risk yet remarkable young youth haha could want. Thanks for putting up with me and helping in more ways than you know. I'll try to make it count outside fireweed. Interesting name for a place. Uh, survival is rehabil rehabil yeah. Hmm. Words are hard. Anyways, thanks, man, Tyler. <laughs> I know what it says. It just, it seemed like it was gonna say rehabilitation and it, it didn't, it kept confusing me. What, nine months? Yo. Yo, <laughs> thanks for the nine months, conspiracy. So, it's supposed to be 10 years, but, oh, um, Guitar Hero. Yep, nope, Guitar Hero, that's it. What's up, Baxter? Because of his, his mic, it's, I named, I named our church baby after his mic. She threw it away. <laughs> So they, they look like they drew them kind of older. So like, he doesn't look like he's 17. And that's what I'm guessing he is. He looks like he's like 25. Hi, Tyler. Hi. First time we see each other in <laughs> 10 years and it's hi, Tyler. Oh, sorry, I... It's fine, Allison. Hi is a good place to start. God, it's good to see you. So, but if he's in juvie, can't you not go to juvie Likewise. if you're over 18? You know? Can yeah, I know, right? She just yeeted the bear. Get? Nope. This is it. My last 10 years in a bag. Then we should get going. We just have time to make the morning ferry. You look good in that. Thanks. One of my mentees designed it. It's really good. Yeah, he's so incredibly talented. I got a couple of local coffee shops to hang his art. Tyler Ronan, shaping the leaders of tomorrow. Yep, we're screwed. <laughs> so, you gonna miss anything about this place? <laughs> the food. Honestly, the people. The other residents, my mentees, my counselor, Aaron. It took me a while to fit in, but once I did, it felt like home. They made me feel safe. Safe enough to be me. That's so great. I'm really happy for you. We planning to drive to Delos Crossing or push? <laughs> you are welcome to walk. Nah, I'll take my chances. 
Need one last look or anything? Looked. Let's go. So I don't know if it's a mystery, um, Jasmine, but it's a just a story-based game. So there's going to be a lot of um, character development and like drama type situations. You get the VIP treatment. So to me, Juvie was only for people under 17. Maybe he had to stay there extra long. I don't know. No, really. I am 100% not creative enough to make that stuff up. Oh, and just last week, they had to turn the ferry around because a bear was on board. No way. Someone a heard bear. a commotion in the back of a delivery truck, so they opened it up. And there was the bear. Oh my Bad and happy on a literal <laughs> mountain of empty chip bags. <laughs> you go where the food is. Sounds like a bear from Colorado. Oh, I can relate to that. So then what happened? I'm not sure. I think they couldn't get him to leave, so they tranked him. Hmm. Oh, poor buddy. Yeah, he was just trying to eat some chips. Shot in the ass just for getting the munchies. <laughs> yeah, well, you know what they say. Safety first in bear country. Yeah, but prevention is best. Common sense goes a long way in keeping them from getting shot. The bear is fine, Tyler. For now. Oh, he's a hipster. You hear they've been talking about loosening up regulations on trophy hunting again? Higher bag limits, inhuman ground traps. Top no restarts. Even bringing back hibernation hunting. What kind of asshole gets off on killing a sleeping animal? What? Yeah, that's messed up. I'm not against hunting, but predators play a vital role in the health of our natural parks. What? Why against are you smiling? The sleeping I'm bear? being serious. Oh, I can tell, Ranger Tyler. Not yet, but at least I got the school part out of the way. I can't believe you've got a bachelor's already. While I boast a half-completed certificate in accounting from an online college that may have stolen my credit card number. Wow. <laughs> figure out what you want. You have time. So, how are you feeling? At first, I thought it was her like who. I'm about to drive straight into a whiteout. Who stabbed the mom? Dead. But clearly, it had to have been him, because he was the one in juvie, right? Right? Um, that's what I'm thinking. What about you? I don't think it was Allison? someone else. It was definitely them. Oh. One of them. Zoned out there for a second. Sorry. What's up? I'm sorry. I'm just trying to wrap my head around the fact that you're right here, standing beside me, on our way to Delos. You don't have to apologize. It's a lot. Why did we take the ferry instead of the coast road? Because I didn't want to be stuck in the car with you Indeed. for an extra two hours. Ha ha. <laughs> we have to take the ferry. It's the only way to reach Delos from Fireweed. I see. Well, good. I don't <laughs> think my stomach could have taken two more hours of how you handle curves. I'm sorry. Do you want to take over driving when we dock? <laughs> no. You're going to have to get back behind that wheel at some point, you know. Look, I put a Fireweed van nose first in What's the ditch. What's the difference hey, between sports? At least you missed the porcupine. Is that when they just do it for fun and they don't eat the food? I'm guessing things haven't changed much. You mean in Delos? Still the capital of East Jesus nowhere. Can't wait to get out of here. Oh, hold on. Right trigger. Was it really that bad? Pretty much. Yeah, that's but pretty messed up. it could definitely have been worse. Like if you'd been tucked away in a center for troubled youth? Right. At least you had Michael. Yeah. I don't think I'd have survived high school without him. Bet you're gonna miss him when you move As long to as you don't waste How's it, I don't really have good. a problem with it. Good, good. Uh, but I haven't seen him much outside of work lately. He's been busy with his dance. At least give the rest of it to the butcher, you know? Latch. Let them have it. Is that smoke coming out of Stonehouse? Guess someone finally bought that old shack. That or the ghosts are cozying up by the fire. <laughs> Think the new owners know it's totally haunted? I'm sure Tina did her best to keep them from figuring it out. At least until the paperwork was signed. Indeed Ugh. it is, Hunzi. That house always gave No, me that we do know. It's definitely a choice game. Like huge gawking eyes. Uh, it's the same creators as Life is Strange. So it's gonna way? be similar to that. But I don't know the like depth of the story yet. 
Yep. I still, I haven't even finished the so, second one yet. We're really going back there, huh? To Stonehouse? Yeah, Life is Strange I mean, too. We're going home. Yeah. Yeah, we are. Think the house will sell? No interested buyers yet. Turns out people don't line up to buy murder houses with no electricity. <laughs> At least it's got one hell of a view. Damn. Unlike Juno. Hey, Juno has mountain views of plenty. Ooh, it just today. also has people and fun. You still thinking you might be my roomie? I'm thinking about it. Hey, can I ask you a question? Shoot. I was told... Um, I mean, after you, well, graduated, I guess, and became a mentor three years ago, you still basically spent all your time at Fireweed, right? Pretty much. There were a few times I tried to go to these meetups for trans people in Juno, but something always came up. I probably should have put myself out there more, but it was better to be around in case the residents needed me. So you were free to come and go as you pleased? Yeah. Uh, why do you ask? Oh, nothing. Just being an overly invested sister. Curious how you spent your time. Mm -mm. I'm not sure where the setting is. I didn't really, uh... Yeah, I don't... I, I think I kind of missed that. I wasn't paying attention all the way. I would imagine so. Allison? Yeah? Spit it out. Okay, you need to promise not to freak out. What is it? It's a gift. From Eddie. I know he's not your favorite person, but... I'm sorry. When you said Eddie, I thought you meant Chief Brown. As in the police officer who arrested me. Come on, Ty. Don't and your adopted father, yeah. the man who didn't let you visit me for seven Whoa, years. Whoa, okay. The Fireweed Administration backed him up, Tyler. They thought it was best for both of us. Yeah, well, it wasn't. It's a peace offering. Hmm. And you're the two most important people in my life. Please. That's super for interesting. Me? He can't buy Hit my forgiveness with some cheap-ass trinket. It's a gift, Tyler. You know what gift giving means in Clinket culture, and what it means to refuse one. Ooh. Do I turn a new leaf? See, this kind of game, man, it gets me. <gasps> I waited too long. I know this is weird. Silence, good. That's what I would have done. Uncle anyways. Eddie's my family. <laughs> He put up with me at my absolute worst, and has always been consistent and kind. Mm. Fine. I'll take it, but I'm not going to wear it. Really? Really. Just so we're clear, this was for you, not Chief Brown. Yeah, oh, you could it's kind of crazy. Or even uncle? <laughs> Hard pass. That, I want to know more of the story, like why he decided to arrest him whenever he explained what happened. His mom had a gun and tried to kill him. It was in self-defense. Did you hear that? But yeah, Hunzi, I think I have high hopes for this game. I think you'll like it if you wanted to play too. Whoa! Yeah. No place like home. Yeah. Would it ruin the moment if I said I needed to call home? Uh, yes. Oh. Sorry. Go yes, B. That makes complete sense. That's why I thought it was her. Okay, sorry. <sighs> Thanks. Huh. All right. It's all coming together now. I think that's exactly what it is. It's so weird being back on this boat. What is he doing? In a fiery crash. How are you? Ooh, 
bed and breakfast. Canoe for sale. Wait, $500? Jeez. I mean, I guess they are kind of expensive. Hey, Allison, can we take the scenic route? He's excited. Allison? Don't think she can hear you. Okay. It's not. Rude. <laughs> hey again. Fancy meeting you here. <laughs> hey, didn't we used to swim off that dock? Wait, no. That was on the lake. Oh, uh, they pulled that one out. What? No. Man, so many good memories. Of pushing me into the lake? So, it's, uh, you play as both. So, like, at first, I started the off as her, and the then I started the playing as him. Yeah. So, I don't know. To? You'll probably get Bobby? to play both characters a little bit. I, uh, kind of dated him. <laughs> no way. Yeah. I always seem to attract the assholes. Another reason why I'm not dating right now. Damn. I watched the cell footage you sent me, but... Seeing it for real is wild. Yeah, it was terrible. You could smell the smoke all the way over in Delos Crossing. Two years later, and they haven't cleaned it up at all? The company went under after, and surprise, no one else is eager to take it on. Someone died, right? Yeah, it was a crazy day. The chapstick is almost out. You need to get a new one. There's nothing like the open air. Hey, you send your application to Denali yet? Uh, not yet. I need way more experience. You're not applying to run the entire national park. They've got to have something entry level, right? Yeah, but I've done no internships, no volunteer work. They probably get hundreds of applicants, and I've got nothing to show. <laughs> I know, it's Come almost on, out. You don't know that. Doesn't hurt to try. It's a good chapstick, too. CarMax for chapped lips. You know, since there's no electricity at the house, we should totally make a campfire. Ooh, yes. Mm, I can already smell the gooey marshmallows and warm chocolate. Clear sky full of stars overhead. The wail of a loon resonating on the empty lake. <laughs> All right, Wordsworth. Hey, that's a compliment. Cannery still going strong, huh? Not sure what people would do around here if it weren't. I've never been to Alaska. Oh, that's cool, the gondola. You lived there for two years? That's cool. You went on a 10-day road trip? My, uh, my friend, Ashley, used to live there. Where are you headed? Uh, Delos Crossing. Same here. You from around here? Born and bred. Ah, you don't say. I moved to Anchorage. Right I want to go on a. Uh, Delos was mostly Alaska names, uh, cruise with my mom. To Alaska. I haven't been home in five years. Oh, so you owed your family a visit? I'll say. You may not know it yet, but your folks, they get old real fast. Mm. Right. I'm Alex, by the way. Alex Gershwin. No relation. Huh? To George Gershwin. Um... Gershwin, the pianist. <laughs> Folks are always asking for related, so I try to head it off the pass. Oh. Uh... What'd you say your name was? Oh, boy. Yeah. Just call me Tyler. All right. <laughs> Good to Don't meet wanna you, Don't want to tell everyone. Likewise, sir. You haven't really traveled yet? You're still really young though, Hunzi. You got time. Travel away. <laughs> Charming. I've traveled a lot. I know, I'm not saying that. 
you're so young and I'm old. That's not what I meant. I meant you're just, I was just saying that you're young still. I'm young too, but I was just saying. <laughs> what a waste of a good point. Travel while working? Not a bad idea. Let's go. Let's do it. I mean, for some it is, but like physically, um, it said that men's prime is in their thirties. As long as you know they don't uh, waste it away. Um, places that I'd live outside of Colorado? Hmm. I'd have to travel more, um, to know for sure, but Oregon is a place that I would definitely consider. I really like the atmosphere there. It's similar to here. So, like some lake house deep in the woods, you know, in Oregon, that would be awesome. Uh, Montana is also really nice. Not a lot out there though. Colorado is honestly the best, you know, from what I've been around. I would love to temporarily live out of the country, but I'd have to travel first and see, you know, like what seems good. I'm a big sightseer. Not like touristy sightseer, like city stuff, but I love nature. It's kind of hot in here for some reason. I don't know why. Wow. It's basically exactly like I remember it. Only it's faded. Like a Polaroid left on a windowsill. From the outside, it almost looks charming. Charm's not the problem. Structural integrity may be an issue. Yeah, you do it up, Hunzi. Whoever buys it will do it up. Just Tear it down? If someone buys it, they can do whatever they want with it. You wouldn't care at all? Would you? Sure. Everywhere I look, I see a piece of one of our adventures. Hmm. Everywhere I look, I just see her. Allison, we could go grab a bike. Start this tomorrow? No. The only way to get this done is to do it. She's ready. After you. Why is he looking back at her like that? <laughs> uh, did you smoke something before you left Fireweed? The door is right there. Okay, excuse me, sassy pants. Uh, this is called Tell Me Why. It's uh, made from the same creators as Life is Strange. Locked. Well, it's a good thing I remembered this. You sure that's the right key? Yes. Maybe someone changed the lock. Who would change the lock on us? Until dawn. We're screwed. You got a plan B? I've never played that one. Yeah. We find another way in. I never knew a locked door that could keep the crafty goblins out. Yeah. We had a million ways in and out of this old house. At least one of them's gotta work. So, I'll just go back to that window that you so rudely snapped me away from earlier. 
I could break a window. You know civilized people don't do that, right? Oh, so we're civilized now? <laughs> oh, maybe not. But we are trying to sell this place, and broken windows aren't exactly amenities. <sighs> the crafty goblins. I haven't thought about them in forever. Or should I say, us? We I'm almost guessing. spent more time as goblins than we did as kids. Yeah, that's oh, what they referred to themselves as. Do you remember all the other characters? The moon hag, the ice king, the old bear. Most of them. Oh, I can Dang. run. But cool. the details are fuzzy. Hey, do you know what Ew. happened to the book with all the stories? No, no idea. But I'm sure it'll turn up when we clean this place out. Remember how mad she'd get if we didn't use the compost? Compost. Cool. Waste not or kiss the planet goodbye. Where's the airplane? Oh, I wanted to see it. What? No, it's not. Do you need a hand with that? Uh, no, it should be fine. Okay. Uh, if we just get this board out of the way, I could probably squeeze through. So we need something to pry it off. It's screwed in pretty good. We need a screwdriver. Screwdriver? Wait, I wanna go up here. I mean, the doors do look kinda new compared Open to the sesame. rest of the house. Let me guess. It's locked. Yup. Know any other secret passwords? Hmm. Honeydew? Nope. Do. It's a pretty good password, not gonna lie. Orange juice and vodka. Not a bad choice. Pineapple juice. Oh, as a password? At least we don't have any use for this right now. Luckily. Remember the snowstorm in 2004? Doesn't seem like the greenest source of energy. <laughs> All right, let's go to the shed. We'll find a screwdriver. So I can't control when I run. I just run at certain times. That's interesting. Wait, there's a shed and a boathouse? Cool, some snowshoes. You really want to go out there? Okay. No, fine. you're right. I did want to, but I can't believe these are still here. Yeah, we should hide them so they yeah. don't frighten away potential bombs. They are kind of creepy. I'm not gonna lie. At least the shed's still standing. Yep. It is on PC. I, don't I got it on about Steam. What might be living inside it, though. Well, better alive than dead. Ugh, yes. Let's deal with that later. Plenty else to do first. Dude, the screwdriver is probably in there. Hey, it's locked, all right. No keys. Should yep. be something in here that'll work. Hey, I see a screwdriver. Now all we need now to do is get inside. Get Wait, I, um, I'm feeling something strange. Oh yeah, Alaska. And don't leave this room until everything looks as clean as a whistle. Ugh. This is the millionth time I've gotten in trouble because of you. You and your big mouth. Hey, you weren't thinking the same thing. You just weren't brave enough to tell her. What good would it do? It's not like she ever listens to us anyway. Well, I'd rather scream it right in her stupid face than be a quiet little mouse. Oh, we forgot the key. We need to put it back. Maybe we could hide it somewhere. You know, mm. for fun. Goblins are supposed to help the princess, not play mean tricks. Whatever, you're not fun. I'm only trying not to make her even worse. Yeah. Whoa. The did that just happen? The darkness would know. be kind of I saw it too. 
It felt like it Scary. did when we used to share thoughts with our voice. It did. But that was a memory of us ten years ago, right? I vaguely remember it happening. I think so. And, uh, that's new, right? Yeah. We could share thoughts and feelings, but we never replayed memories like that. Weird. Why would it happen? And why that memory? I don't know. It's mm. pretty eerie. Supernatural things. It's weird. But our voice was always a good thing. This could be too. I forgot about Hawaii though, when you mentioned or when you asked about where I would live. But it gets dark there too, so I don't know. Again. Maybe Maybe just for yeah, times of the year, you know, certain times. Hurry! Let's go see the silent frog. Coming. I'm coming. What? Stop boring. Why would it get already. boring? No, you're not. Okay. There's beach. Yes, you don't want to see what I put in the treasure room. And what? And hiking. No, I want to see. I guess we know where to search now. We just have to remember which one is the silent frog. Uh. So, which one of you is hiding the key? Hmm? No, not this one. Damn, where's the key? Seriously? Kidding. Oh, come on. I would probably just live <sighs> okay, there during okay, like sorry. the best parts of the year. You know. Nice job keeping a secret, buddy. Come on, give me the action. Huh. Who left this box here? It looks brand new. It wasn't me. Has someone been out here recently? Dude. Guess it's your lucky day, bird friends. There is somebody living in oh, this, this house. A screwdriver? You got a better idea how this to get in? Be creepy. Dude, if I had the option, I would totally have houses all over. They'd be tiny homes though. I wouldn't have some like gigantic place you know at least the shed's still standing yep i don't want to think about what might be living inside it though oh wait we well, got a screwdriver better alive than dead Ugh, yes let's mm -hmm. deal with that later plenty else to do first i don't know i would not get a giant house in california it'd be way too expensive way too expensive you can sell a shack in california and buy a mansion you could buy three mansions in texas oh if price wasn't a thing you sure you want to go in there yeah this was our exactly. very first den remember <laughs> who knows what lives down there now Everything okay down there? Tyler? Ah! <gasps> That's not funny! <laughs> then why am I laughing? Bitch in for a mansion. Okay, fine. <laughs> but you're still an idiot. All right. I'm going in for real this time. Traveling's nice too, though. Okay. Honestly, if the front door in a few Corona minutes. wasn't still running around, then I'd be doing more... Uh, more traveling still currently even though i live in austin colorado already but my mom has a timeshare and she lets me uh Ouch. use it <laughs> are you okay what happened i just hit my head like an idiot wait what where are you hi i'm outside but i can hear you in my Ooh, head they're talking in my head our voice it's back Shit. Uh, dragons, straight ahead. We need to go left, I think. Dragons. Oh, the little guys. So, uh, the timeshare is technically in uh, Mexico, but she 
can trade it out for like everywhere. Like I can go to Japan, Korea, I've gone to I'm California a lot, or Colorado when I wasn't living here, Utah, I mean pretty much everywhere. Goblins. Yeah, it's awesome. Uh, so sometimes there's like uh like 150. Nope. It was on the right. My bad. Uh, 150 dollar uh, trade in charge. What? Yeah, I went left. But it was supposed to be on the right, so I went the wrong way. You were right. Nothing here. Of course I was. What? So it wasn't on that? I wanted to go back and grab this guy. Hey, what's up, Automizers? I would have taken the gold. Thailand. Definitely. I would have taken the gold. Not even. And Singapore dreams. sounds cool too. You don't like it? <laughs> it was cute. Oh, this looks cool. Tea party. Wait, that was our treasure? It's just trash. We could make treasure out of anything. Our imaginations were that powerful. I've heard of it, but I don't really uh told us about all these missing dishes. But a goblin never gets Haven't looked treasure. into like traveling there. Pink. It always had to be pink. What's up? Dom Masters, how's it going? <laughs> I think it's wings have been clipped though. Rest in peace, brave bird. So many peanuts. <laughs> I knew what you meant. That is a lot of peanuts. Past the treasure. Straight, Straight ahead. ahead. You know, I almost convinced myself our voice was just another childhood fantasy. Me too. But we really are connected. Land of food. <laughs> Why am I still afraid to say his name? He was Marianne's creation. She made all the creepy characters. Wait, who's Marianne? Is that their mom and they just don't call her mom? What the heck? How am I supposed to get into the house down here? It's a pass the treasure straight ahead. So just this way? Clearly not. Wow, can't say I ever expected to see you again. It's been a long time, buddy. Uh, well, okay. It's possible that I could, and I just it doesn't prompt me again. Like it only gives, it only tells me once to crouch. Cause the first time it told me to crouch. Like it prompted me with a. We'll try. I guess I was just assuming that it would prompt me again. Oh, wait, no, it's right here. Maybe. Dude, what if someone had been like kidnapping people and making them live there? Like hiding them there. That'd be pretty messed up.
just like walks around, forgets to open the door for his sister. <laughs> Coming. Are you okay? I'll live. Good to hear your voice again. Yeah, same here. So, coming in or what? Just working up to it. Tyler's mental stability seems really well. Like, he had like happy vibes. You know, coming back to his childhood home. Well, we're here. Here we are. What? So, how do we get started? We figure out what to keep, what to trash, and see what else this house might be trying to show us. Oh, it could be. Well, I don't know about that, though, because... Wow. This is unreal. That was towards... Um, him, right. specifically. Let's see. Broken shelf, broken jar, and the washing machine. Broken. <laughs> the dryer never worked to begin cool. with. Your man thought dryers were straight up evil. Yeah, I guess that is their mom. I hated hanging drippy laundry. I refused to change for a few weeks once, so I wouldn't have to do it. Hmm, smart. Machine repair, huh? Whew. This place needs some serious work. Or not. Where was she at? Sounded like she was down there, but I want to look at everything, so... We should take down the creepy masks if we don't want to scare the buyers away. Oh, so now you don't want to scare someone with those masks. Are these authentic blankets? I doubt it. I'm surprised Marianne would buy fakes. 20 years ago, every- Huh. This bathroom still smells like Marianne. A good scrub and we'll be rid of that too. We were so competitive about who measured What's up, taller. Sunset? Like we actually had anything to do with it. And after all, you wanted to pretend it ended in a tie. Yeah, none of that crazy stretching I did made any difference. Crazy stretching to try and make yourself grow? That's funny. What are we gonna do with all her jewelry? Well, I'm certainly not gonna wear it. Donation pile it is then. Wow. I forgot all about her weird concoctions. And how she was always testing them on us. If we were lab oh, rats. Okay, that sounds creepy. Handmade soap. Still here after ten years. Impressive. You I could love say that handmade about soap. the entire house. What would little Tyler I have this really nice he soap in here right now and saw me. It's um Coconut and vanilla, and I got it at Whole Foods. It's really nice. I tried to bury this dress in the backyard, but Marianne caught me. You need a steady breath. Yeah, well, we both know pretty was never my thing. <laughs> I am into this game so far, but I also really liked Life is Strange, and they're the same creators. So, what are you, uh, what are you trying to work on the stream? Camera angles or alerts or string, glue, duct tape. The holy trinity of house repair. There you go. Here I am loved having something to fix. I love fixing things too. Header installs, swapping cams. Uh those are car things, right? Mm -hmm. No. Those are hot rod things. Well, Okay. Keep up the car talk and you'll fit right in around here. Car hot rod, same, same. What was she hoping to do with all these jars? She used to barter for our clothes with homemade jam. <laughs> she tried everything to make ends meet. Well, mm -hmm. not everything. It's really sad, actually. Best mom. You think we ever really believed that? Or were we just trying to make her happy? 
either way, it wasn't true. Really? I enjoy games like this. They're, um, they're a different pace from, like, you know, team games or ones where you, like, fight against each other, you know, and stuff. Like, it's a interesting, more like ex exploration, puzzle-type games, you know? So you're trying to work on alerts and and overlays. What do you uh, what do you use? Stream Guess elements never had works really good for me. Collection. This came out of one of the prize machines at Mint the store. nut and flex. Yeah, you'd slide the quarters inside on the little I remember tray, those. And then magic out pops a sticker. What's well, a sticker? Do you guys remember those where you put the quarters in and you and you pull out the stickers? Dude, I literally had like a hundred stickers on my door at one point. Like I probably spent way too many quarters on stickers. I had my whole door filled with them. I would just get stickers from like everywhere. 2005. Mostly the of quarter course. ones. Yeah, I started with Streamlabs, but I only kept it for like two weeks because I just don't really like it. Um, I really prefer Stream Elements. It has a lot more, it just seems easier to me. And uh, I also use OBS because that also seems easier. It just kind of uh, has more optimized functionalities. Penny. And it's really easy to like look up YouTube videos on like tutorials on how to do everything because they're so well like widely used. <laughs> Good judgment. Yeah, no problem. What are you reading? And then if you have any questions, I might actually be able to help. Because I use it. To apologize uh, for reading, reading it out loud. Remember, your kids seems into like behavior. Great such a chore. Strategy. It was just an apology letter. And they spelled judgment just like I would. Remember these. This is probably one of Marianne's unfinished masterpieces. There's two of them. Maybe they were us. In some weird way that only made sense to Marianne. Yeah, definitely. Hit me up about it if you need to. They have a lot of built-in ones that's cool. Like before Bot made me this overlay, the one on the bottom here. Uh, I used a pre-made one. And it already had um, like alert boxes for follows, subs, you know, bits and all that stuff too, which was pretty cool. She took so many pictures. Yeah, like she had to document every second of our lives. I like the jack-o'-lantern one. You can keep some of them if you want. <laughs> no thanks. Okay. I, mean, I like the photos of us. I'll read the next time. I don't think I can forget that she was the one aiming the camera. Wow. I'm so embarrassed for us. Many Da Vinci's we were not. She saved every <laughs> drawing we ever did. There's a couple of these I might keep. It's really sad because it seems like the mom was like involved and like liked her kids, you know, but maybe she was just really you know, like depressed, like, you know, was just messed up in the head. Oh, it was right trigger, right? Um, Mom, about 
me joining the hockey team? Mom! Sorry, what? Uh, not now. Maybe next year. But you promised! Keep whining, and my next year will become never. Where she was an alcoholic. Can you cut my hair? Your hair yeah. is fine. But I want to cut it short, really short. What? Look, I'm tired, and I'm busy. Mm. Let's talk about this later. You always say that. Marianne said no to everything. It made me so pissed. She was always on edge those last few months. Yeah, and completely deaf to everything I was telling her I needed. She pretty much always said no to me, too. True, but it felt personal with me. So sad. Not much, just playing a new game. Dude, Stranger Things would be awesome. I love Stranger Things. Too bad we have to wait for the next season. I didn't realize how much I missed the smell of firewood. I miss the cold winter nights curled up here. My big mugs of hot cocoa. Yeah. Sounds awesome. Marianne was so tired she was usually asleep on the couch. Ah, that's why it was so nice. No Marianne. Uh, for more Stranger Things. We'd use our voice so we didn't wake her up. And then we'd be up all night telling stories and watching the fire die. And Marianne was none the wiser. Oh, you should definitely watch the other two seasons. She was trying to save the planet way before Al Gore made it cool. Has Al Gore ever made anything cool? Nah. I guess she was right about one thing. But you can't really blame anyone <laughs> for not listening to crazy Marianne Ronan. And cold weather, too. You know, like when it's really cold and you just get really warm. Love that feeling. All right, so we explored everything here. Let's Mary go through. Room. Let's not go in there until we absolutely have to. Ooh. Agreed. Chocolate almond. I love chocolate almond milk. It's so good. <laughs> there was a staircase, right? If you don't come up soon, I'm gonna take whatever I want from our bedroom. No way, wait for me. Now this, this feels like home. Aw, I want my sister to watch this with me. <laughs> hey, the postcard we sent ourselves Text from Juno. Her, come watch my stream. <laughs> what? We barely had any friends. We even had to be our own pen pals. <laughs> Almond Joys? I was never a fan of those. I mean, I like them now. I wouldn't buy one, though. Not really. I remember every time I would uh, get them for Halloween, I would just give them all to my mom. Whenever we asked for a TV, she'd just bring home a big stack of books. I think she did us a favor with that one. I would agree with that. You may not agree when we start digging into the HBO back catalog. <laughs> We'll see. More books than movies? Definitely. Right? Watching your siblings play. <laughs> I definitely watch my brothers play a lot of games. Oop, sounds good. Get that lurk on. But uh, my sister is, she lives in Illinois. Ugh. Some of our old toys give me the creeps. It is a kind of a creepy toy. Not gonna lie. It's like a dragon head taped to a stick that looks really creepy with things on it. Ma is that with matches? Those are definitely matches. Me? I am one of seven. So, six. Tyler, do you copy? If we don't move fast, this whole thing is going to melt. Do you copy? <laughs> Copy, Allison. Gonna get this thing moving soon. Don't want the Mad Hunter to catch us. Over. 
The Mad Hunter. Yep, one of oh, seven. He still gives me the creeps. Second youngest. I wish I could forget about him. <laughs> over. <laughs> the killer's coming, over. Look what I found. What? Only our greatest creation, the Book of Goblins. <gasps> Seriously? It was in that chest the whole time? Ooh. Oops, wrong button. All these stories. I had ideas for so many more. Marianne wrote a lot of them. Yeah. It's one of the only times I remember her being at peace. The index? What? We're talking about when we said over after every thing that we said and um, when we were playing Dead by Daylight. You may not have been there. Oh. Okay. It was a good night. It was hilarious. One of seven was definitely interesting. <laughs> we had fun, though. It's one of those things where you wouldn't be lonely because, you know, you had your family. Ah, where is it? It's a big story. We'll read it later. Something in particular? My diary. You never told me about it. Yeah. With the way Marianne was, I tried extra hard to keep it a secret. Marianne. Yeah, that day she found out about it. Oh. How do I, why can't I back out? I do it's just for your one younger sister you read it didn't you you had no right what's to that mojo that. I have the right to do whatever I need to protect my little girl I'm not your girl I hate you mm. you will always be my little girl and no matter how hard you fight me I'll fight twice as hard to keep you safe <laughs> damn not having acceptance from your mom is like the hardest thing. I don't know how I never saw it coming. She told me right Chillin'. to my face. She was willing to hurt me, to keep me from transitioning. There's no way you could have known she'd go that far. God, that's so messed up. I still can't believe that the cop arrested him. I want my him. diary back. Her room was the only place I didn't look. You know? Okay, but do you need to get it, like, now? That diary was important to me, Allison. Writing down my thoughts helped me realize who I am. Let's go find it. You think her room is still locked? It always was. I'm not looking forward to going in there. I know, but we'll have to eventually, and I need it back. You know, if there's one thing you gotta give Marianne, it's that she let us explore our artistic side. You should have seen Eddie's face when I tried to repaint his car. Yeah. I bet Uncle Eddie didn't appreciate your artistic touch. Aww. I'd rather you called him Chief Brown if you're going to be an ass about it. <laughs> so much for my dream of being a hockey star. Marianne thought sports were too aggressive, too competitive, and too group thinky. What? How did you convince me to let you group put this up? Group thinky? It was my favorite movie back then. Um, I haven't played much yet. We just started. Um... We've been to like two sections, but pretty much what happened was 
in the very beginning, there was this guy, Tyler, but before I transitioned, so it was a little girl, in an like a police office, and he was talking to a police officer and told the officer that he went into the room and saw his mom with a gun, and then his mom tried to kill him, so he stabbed her. And then you went to the, his sister, Allison, and she, you know, had said it's been like 10 years. And then they went and met up because he just got out of juvie and she picked him up. And then they came here and this is their old childhood home. Neither of them have been back to for 10 years and they're going to sell it. So it's kind of hey, messed you. up. I just found your twin under the house. He's seen better days. Oh, it was Allison's oh, one. This one wasn't mine. <laughs> His must have been the one under the house. Look, it's the game we made, Lusion Tramway. That game never made any sense. Yeah. Didn't stop it's us from playing all day. Kind of messed up. It's like a very drama, heartfelt story. Did I not click on the poster? I thought I did. How did you convince me to let you put this up? It was my favorite movie. It's a movie. Back then. The City of Love. Hey, the postcard we sent ourselves from Juno. Forever alone. What? Oh. We barely had any friends. We even had to be our own pen pals. All right, that's everything. Oh. Finally caught the hag. His furious voice could be heard throughout the forest. For your wickedness, you will be eternally bound to the lake. What? No way. Quiet, let me finish. You will no longer be allowed to leave. Not even under a full moon. The moon hag was imprisoned in the lake, and she never again tried to escape. Hmm. <laughs> and then the title. What do you think? Not bad, right? Uh, I guess that's okay. But I would have changed the end. What? No way! Cute. Ice King. I totally forgot about him. That's because it was dangerous to mention his name. He was too powerful. Wait, I'm confused at what you're talking about. The poster? It just says the city of love. The city of love. Am I saying it wrong? I'm. You're confusing me. Making me think that I'm saying weird things where'd you come from <laughs> oh that looks like a cute book a tale of two swords Oh, did I? As I was like, the city of love. <laughs> Hold up. What? Remember this? Uh, unfortunately. You must solve my riddle to earn the right to enter the princess's sanctum. Nothing a good hard shove won't take care of. <laughs> I mean, yes, we could brute force it, but it might be kind of fun to finally solve it, right? We have different definitions of the word fun. Okay, well, <laughs> if we break it, we're just gonna have to fix it for the sale. So let's at least try not to. You have the Book of Goblins? Yep. Hand it over. All right, let's do this. What are you looking for? The image on the door. It's making me think of a story from the book. One that Marianne wrote. You have a way better memory than me. Well, the Book of Goblins was my creation. And you'll never let anyone forget it. <laughs> circle, circle, square. I don't have a circle. Here it or is. Or a square. The one about the princess's party. <laughs> Give it a read. I think the symbols may represent something in the story. First ghost memories, now storybook puzzles. What a weird day. What a weird childhood. Touche. <laughs> okay. Well, I guess it's time for a story. <clears throat> Ew. It's not you. 
I like it. Okay. <clears throat> oh, Nero's here for the story, you guys. He showed up. Okay. So, the princess walked alone, without help, until she was hopelessly lost in the big forest. Exhausted, she pressed on with no idea of where she was heading. As the hunter drew even closer, dodged in his pursuit, she continued this way until she heard a heavy croaking ooh, far off to her left, so clear and loud that the princess immediately made for the source of the noise. A few minutes later, she reached the big frog in the small pond, and the frog looked at her with a gentle smile. Please help me. Oh, I said that wrong. Help me, please. <laughs> Same thing, <laughs> said the princess. I need a place to rest and to hide. Ribbit, answered the frog, and the princess frowned. Please, stop making noise. The mad hunter is after me. Ribbit, said the frog again, so loud that the princess had to cover her ears. The creature began to jump every which way. What are you doing? asked the princess. Stop all that noise, or he'll find us. But the frog kept croaking and jumping around her left and right, up and down, ribbit, ribbit, until the princess understood the meaning of his fuss. Cautiously, the woman climbed on the back of the big animal, and then, with a leap, the frog set off away from the pond. The frog jumped so high and so far that even the hunter could not find where the princess had gone. With a few jumps, the princess was out of his piercing eye. A few more jumps, and she had vanished for good. The princess closed her eyes and let her clever mount carry her wherever the creature pleased. Less than an hour later, the big frog had reached the other side of the ancient forest, near the shores of the very deep lake. There, she landed without a noise in front of, oh, without a noise in front of a big wooden house that had been abandoned. Thank you, said the princess, covering the animal's snout with kisses. I only wish you could speak so I could have understood what you were trying to do sooner. As she pronounced these words, something incredible happened. The big frog suddenly able to speak. Her first words started, startled the princess. The mad hunter is always at my heels. Now you are safe and I have had my revenge. You can stay in this house as long as... You can stay in this house. It has been abandoned for a long time, and no one will look for you here. And then, without looking back, the big frog jumped back to the pond. And this is how the big frog saved the princess, and how she earned the right to speak. Hmm. Cute. Okay. So, now that we know the story... So first... It was... Should they all just be the big frog? I don't know. Uh, I think I'm just gonna force this open. You sure? Okay, so... Oh, next story. Oh, I see. So frog, bear, beaver. Oh my god, there's so many stories. What the heck? We're not in a rush, and we'll have to fix it. Okay, All frog. right, one more try. Bear. I don't want to read them all right now. Frog, bear. The beaver's not even on there, is he? Does this blue one look like a beaver? I don't think that's the beaver. It does? Oh. Okay. You sure you're done? Maybe if we put our heads together. 
What? No, I'm trying to yeah, open the Yeah, I can try again. You sure you're done? What? Maybe if we put our heads together. Yeah, I can try again. Okay, so maybe moose, frog, bear, bird? What? No, don't tell me. We're going to figure it out. Moose, frog, bear. Oh, wait, there's only three. Crap. <laughs> moose, frog, bear. Let's try that. Frog. Bear. You sure you're done? Maybe if we put our heads so, together. It seems like when I'm pushing A that it's yeah, not I could try again. It's not actually having me try. You sure you're gonna be able Beat to crack Saber it? Beat looks weird today. Indeed it does. Thank you so much. Oh my gosh, a whole year? Thank you. For the Give whole me some year. time. All right. I I'm am clicking the doorknob. I pushed A. Moose frog bear. Watch. And then whenever I push A, you sure you're done? It just says, Maybe "Are you we done?" Put our heads together. I don't know why. Yeah, I can try again. All right, all right. Um. <laughs> so, we read about the frog. The bear and the princess. Hmm. The beaver. Frog. Bear. Beaver. We tried that though. That one didn't work. Oh, nice. Got a new job? Heck yeah. I know, we might have to read them all. I'm just skimming right now. Ooh. Okay. Let's see if... You think you're any closer to an answer? If she'll help me. See what we can figure out I with her I think help. I need some help. Okay. Let's think this through. Okay. Where do we start? The Book of Goblins. Let's read the story about the princess's party. Okay. See, now we're on to something. The princess's party. Once upon a time, in a deep and ancient forest, the princess was melancholy. Is that how you say that? Melancholy? I don't even know exactly what that means. Because it was the one-year anniversary of when she had run away from home. Sensing her sadness, her forest friends showed up at the door. They were headed by the pelican. Ooh, okay. Here's the pelican. The first one. Big word for sad. Okay, that makes sense. Um, Pios and attentive 
and organized by the moose. Okay, moose, maybe. Stalwart and <laughs> foresighted. The old bear was there. This claws. So sharp, as well as the big frog. Okay, so now we have four. Prattling away. Even the haughty muskrat. Jeez. All of them are here, who mostly came out at night, had come. The bear invited her to ride on his back, promising no wolf would carry her path. Would harry her path. I thought that said carry. And then the animals led her to a fairy glen, where a fabulous party had been prepared. There was a buffet of seafood the pelican had served from her never emptying vet ew from her beak. Pious. Pious. Pious or pious? The air was filled with winking fairy lights. The moose arranged after clouds filled the sky. And the Jigarious frog mixed up fizzling drinks. Only the muskrat had done nothing in particular, mooching off everyone else's hard work. Damn muskrat. It's pious? Okay. Pious. The princess had a very good time at her party. Such a good time that she forgot to say thank you to any of her friends. Noticing this, the fairies devised a bit of a mischief when the princess went to open her gifts. She found three identical boxes at the edge of the glen. Puzzled, she turned back and gasped. The entire party had vanished. Because you have not taken your friends for because you have taken your friends for granted, called the naughty fairies. We have hidden them from you, but we like games. Guess who has given you each of the presents and you'll get your friends back? The princess opened the first box. Inside, there was a torch, which, when lit, revealed the truth. Hmm, said the princess. Someone wants to make sure I don't get lost in the woods when it's dark and that I always see from the wrong See right from wrong. Which of my friends would give me something like that? Hmm. So we have to figure that out, I guess. Right from wrong and to see in the dark. She opened the second box. Inside, there was a magic sword, which would leap right out of the bear's hands to define, defend them. Hmm, said the princess. Someone wants to make sure I am protected if I am ever under threat. Which of my friends would give me a gift like that? She opened the third box. Inside, there was a bag of coins that always provided money if it was for something the bear truly needed. Hmm, said the princess. Someone wants to make sure I have money to buy food when I am hungry and clothes when I am cold. Which of my friends would give me a gift like that? The princess thought about her friends, and then she smiled, certainly. Fairies, she said, I may have been thoughtless, but I appreciate all that my friends have given to me and all that they have done for me. She gave her answers, and the vexed fairies were forced to restore the party in a flash of colorful light. One by one, she gave the animals a hug and thanked them for their presence. The party and all they had done to help since she moved into the forest, and that is how the princess celebrated her first anniversary in the woods. Your dog, aw, little puppy. Okay, so, ah, stupid contacts, I can't see out this eye. So the first one reveals the truth and to know right from wrong and in the dark. So let's go find that one. Mm, I don't think it was the frog. <laughs> it makes you read all the stories. Okay. <clears throat> the bear and the princess. Once upon a time, in the ancient and deep forest, the old bear stood in the bank of the river. Swiping at salmon on their way to the spawning grounds, just as he'd got his paw on a particularly fat one, he heard a woman shouting for help. He considered simply eating his salmon, 
But then she screamed again, and he lumbered over to investigate. After a short walk, he found the princess clinging to the top of a tree where a wolf snarled and snapped at the base of the tree. Old Bear would normally not get in the middle of such a situation after all. As a fellow predator, he understood the wolf's need to hunt. But when he saw the princess, he was struck by her beauty, and he knew he had to help. With a great roar, the bear heaved into his back, heaved onto his hind legs. Why? Why don't I? Why do I make up words? I know it says hind, but I said back anyways. Rising to his full height, the wolf snapped and snarled in his direction. But the bear roared again, and the wolf took off into the trees, tail between his legs. The old bear fell back down, onto all fours, and stared up at the princess. She regarded him fearfully. You can come down, he said. How do I know you didn't save me just so you could eat me yourself? Asked the princess. I suppose this is a fair question, admitted the old bear, but I promise I won't eat you. The princess had no reason to trust the old bear, except that he had kind eyes, and so she slowly made her way down the tree. When she reached the ground, the bear only watched her, and so she supposed she was not going to be eaten today. Thank you, she told the old bear. Of course, he said. Can I walk with you back to your home? Of course, said the princess. And so the princess and the old bear walked together through the forest, back to the big wooden house. After that day, the princess would occasionally find gifts from the old bear, a fresh caught salmon, <laughs> a handful of ripe berries, a newly bloomed bluebell. One spring, when a sudden thaw flooded the path out of the princess's home, the old bear was there, and she rode his back across the river. The old bear began to think that the princess should be his mate. After all, she had no mate, and she needed one, and he could keep her warm and provide her as much more suitable den, and catch her fish, <laughs> and protect her from wolves, she, in turn, would brush out his fur and pick berries without smushing half of them and scratch that one part of his back he couldn't reach. This is such a funny story. And with how she took care of the goblins, she would be an excellent mother for his cubs. One day, the old bear came with a ring of spruce and asked the princess to be his bride. I'm sorry, said the princess. You are a very good friend, and I appreciate all you've done for me, but I cannot marry you. You're a bear, and I'm a princess. It would never work. The old bear was crushed. Can we still be friends? Aw, he asked. We will always be friends, said the princess, but I will never marry you. Jesus. <laughs> the bear and the princess carried on their friendship, and after one year, he tried again to ask her to be his bride, but once again, she refused. This happened one year later and one year after that. And then finally the princess said, Old Bear, you are my dear friend and I appreciate all you have done for me, but I would sooner you have left me to the wolves than marry you. Jeez. And that is how it will always be. I have my hands full with the two goblins who live under my house and they are all I need. That wounded the old bear deeply, but it was finally enough to stop his proposals. They remained friends, and he continued to give her gifts of fresh salmon and ripe berries and newly bloomed bluebells. But the old bear never asked, never again asked the princess to be his bride, as much as, as much as he might have wanted to, and that is how the princess befriended the old bear and how she refused him. Yeah, it's pretty intense. So... That didn't sound like any of them to me. Oops. It did? Which one did it sound like? Hold on. How do I read? What? So, the first one is so that she doesn't get lost in the woods. I look firm thank you <laughs> i like this game too um the first one was for the torch that showed the way 
And then this one. Someone wants to make sure I am protected if I am ever under threat. This was a sword to protect them. Is that the bear? That one? Because then the other one is just money. If when food to buy me food when I'm hungry. So would that be the bear? My face. <laughs> okay, it could be the money. It, it definitely could be. We'll put the bear down for number one and then we'll see if we get a better one. Oh no, wait, it would have been number three. Dang it, the bear was already on there. <laughs> I think so too. I've I've so far I'm liking it better. Okay. So that was the story of the bear. This guy isn't on there. So we're not gonna read his. Because Right, he's not on there? Yeah, he's not. I don't think that's him, the blue one. It just doesn't seem like it. The bear's in all of these, it seems like. Okay, here's the one about the duck. Oops. Why do I keep pushing the wrong button? Okay. The pelican helps her friends. Once upon a time, in a deep and ancient forest, an early winter storm blanketed everything in snow. It was so early in the year that the creatures of the forest were not yet ready for an ordinary winter, much less a bad one. And everyone agreed the storm was a sign the Ice King had plans for a long, cold winter. The princess has gr had grown up in a kingdom where it was sunny all year long. And the goblins were very young, so no one in the big wooden house knew how to prepare for such a winter. The house was not well insulated, and they did not have enough fuel or food. Only the pious, eh? Only the pious pelican noticed their plight. And when it came time to fly south with the other birds, her heart was heavy with sadness. What can I do? she thought. I'm a migratory bird, and if I were to stay, who would look after my flock? The time came to go, and the pelican struggled to take flight. It felt as though a leaden weight were struck right in the center of her chest. What can I do, she thought. I'm a migratory bird, and if I were to stay, who would take care of my flock? I feel like I just read that. I'm so confused. She managed to take off, but only just barely, flapping fiercely to catch up with the other birds. As the pelican, oh, the pe pious pelican, began her journey, the storm picked up, battering her to and fro. She had fallen well behind the flock, and she was already growing tired. But for all her challenges in the air, she could tell things were much worse on the ground. A deep freeze had settled over the forest. The leaden weight in her chest grew heavier as she thought of the princess and the goblins what can i do she thought i'm a migratory bird <laughs> and if i were to stay who would look after my flock the storm intensified and the pelican was in a total whiteout she knew she had she knew she should have disappeared despaired what is that? Some of these stories are weird. She knew she should have despaired. But all she could feel was the weight, which had grown and grown until she thought she might drop out of the sky. She had felt called to help help the princess and the goblins, but she had ignored it. 
I should have stayed, she thought. It was the right thing to do, and now I'm lost, with no way to make it right. Suddenly, she was plucked from the sky and deposited in the hall of the Ice King's... Whoa. Pelican, he said. Despaired. But it was saying she knew she should have despaired. Which I just thought was a weird way to say that. Anyways, Pelican, he said. You were flying in circles around my mountain. I was lost, she said. Weighed down by the weight of guilt in my heart. The Ice King stared at her. Sagely. Is it guilt or is it something else? Open your beak. He reached down inside of her pulling out a glowing stone. The pious pelican was surprised at how it filled her with warmth, chasing away cold and her doubt. You know what you have to do, said the Ice King. Oh. I see. So this one might be the torch one, maybe? The pious pelican flew straight to the big wooden house. Snow had already blown in, though its many through its many cracks, and ice crept across the floorboards. She found the princess and the goblins huddled in front of the quiet hearth, nearly frozen solid. No, she cried, and then she placed the stone in the princess's lap. The warmth of it spread through the whole, through the whole of the house, melting all that had frozen. The princess threw her arms around the pelican's chest, and the goblins clung to her legs. Thank you, they cried. You're welcome, said the pelican, smiling in deep satisfaction. What is that? asked the princess, staring at the wonderful stone. At first, said the pelican, I thought it was my guilt, but when the Ice King pulled it out of me, I realized it was something much more powerful. Just then, the storm broke, and the skies cleared, and the pelican filled the big wooden house houses larger, larder with food from her beak. And then she took to the skies, lightened by the knowledge that through her charity, everyone in the big wooden house would be warm and fed until spring. And that is the story of how the pious pelican saved the wise princess and the crafty goblins from the long winter. So that one is the one that gives warmth and food. Right? Feeding three people. So, that was the last one, right? Uh, someone wants to make sure I have money to buy food when I'm hungry and clothes when I'm cold. That's got to be, that's got to be the bird. So, so the bear is the protector, then, because he saved her from the wolf. So this one is the bird. This one is the bear. And then the first one is someone wants to make sure I don't get lost in the woods when it's dark. And I always see right from wrong. So we have to find that one. Not the beaver. Trick the muskrat. Could be him or the moose. Well, the beaver's not even there. It's actually the muskrat. If you look at it, it's not the beaver. Because it doesn't look like the beaver. Uh, I want to read the moose. Because I like mooses better. Okay. Mark was here a second ago. Hey, Mark. I don't know if you guys saw him. The moose teaches the goblins. Once upon a time, in a deep and ancient forest, the crafty goblins were hungry. This wasn't unusual. The goblins were always hungry. But today, they were particularly hungry. They opened the wise princess's cupboards 
to look for a snack, but all she had was a small pile of nuts and berries and just one strip of dried fish. The goblins grabbed it all and gobbled it up, but they were still hungry. They went out into the woods to look for more to eat. First, they dropped by the small pond. The big frog was asleep, and beside the pond was a pile of insects she had caught for her for eating after she woke up. The goblins crept up to the pile, careful not to wake the big frog as they got close. She riveted loudly, and they froze. But the big frog kept sleeping, so they grabbed the pile of insects and gobbled it up, but they were still hungry. As they crept back into the woods, they found the stalwarts moose watching them. Did you just steal the big frog's food? The goblins tried not to look guilty, but failed. She said we could have them. They cried, oh really? Asked the big moose. Let's ask her. So the moose woke up the frog, the big frog, and asked, did you say the goblins could have your food? The big frog looked at the goblins, who knew who she knew were always hungry, and nodded. Yes, I did. Really? asked the big moose, surprised. Frog nodded, and the moose sighed. All right, then, he said, and then he had to let the goblins go. Their next stop was the river. They watched as Old Bear swiped at a leaping salmon, catching it deftly. Deftly? What does that even mean? Like, to grab it? Hardly. I'm learning so many new words today. <laughs> In his large paws, he lay it out upon a rock and left it out to dry. Lumbering into the woods to seek out some berries, the crafty goblins crept up to the rock. Carefully, in case the old bear returned, they reached the rock and grabbed the salmon and gobbled it up, but they were still hungry. Skillful. Mm, okay. With finesse. He finessed that fish out of the water. As they crept back into the woods, the stalwart moose was once was once again waiting for them. Are you going to tell me the old bear said you could have that? Yes, replied the goblins. Old bear ambled up at the moment, up at that moment, and moose asked him, Did you leave that fish for the goblins? Old bear looked at the goblins who knew they were always hungry, and nodded. I did, he said. Really? asked the moose. Really, said the old bear. <laughs> After moose left, old bear said to the goblins, be sure to tell the princess I was kind to you, and don't steal my fish again. <laughs> the goblins, still hungry, went out looking for more, for one more meal. Am I? I feel like I'm a bad storyteller. I mess up on words a lot. Uh, for one more meal. They crept up to the mangy muskrat lo muskrat's lodge and began to climb inside when they were dragged right back out the stalwart moose dangled them by the seats of their pants and said now i know mangy muskrat didn't tell you that you could eat his food because he blames you for his coat being ruined besides he barely has enough for himself and doesn't spare with anyone or doesn't share with anyone the goblins began to protest but he shook his head. He set the goblins down and said, come with me. The goblins followed the stalwart moose to a part of the river where it ran slow, enough for them to walk into it safely. He gave them each a fishing line and said, I am going to teach you to fish so that when you are hungry, you do not need to steal from the animals of the forest. It will be hard work, but it will be honest. The crafty goblins were not against working hard, they were just hungry, and so they listened to the moose and soon pulled g wiggling, I almost said giggling, wiggling fish out of the river. They ate them up, and finally they were no longer hungry. And that is how the stalwart moose came to teach the crafty goblins to fish. Hmm. Oh, thank you, Laggy. I just got this shirt, actually. Okay, so... He taught them how to fish. Oop, enjoy that dinner. Did not think this was going to be this intense of a puzzle.
Let's try it this way. Whoo! That was my joy dance. <laughs> Hold on, wait, pause, pause. I have to pee so bad, but I was like reading that whole story, so I couldn't stop. I'm gonna put my BRB screen up, and I'll be back in like one minute. Uh, where is my BRB screen? Here it is, okay, be right back. Wash my hands, don't worry. They were washed with a oatmeal lavender soap to be uh, specific. Thank you. Uh, I didn't make it, but it is homemade. I know it is fancy soap. Uh, no, it was actually Kaboom. someone that my mom worked with. We're in. Dude, she has a cool room. With the, the lights. So many years, I expected this to feel more, you know, like a win. Have they never been in their mom's room before? Speak for yourself. I'm the one who solved the riddle. <laughs> yeah, I spent like 30 I minutes like reading that. Let me forget that. It took a long time. It's a good long story. Reading. Where do you think we should start looking? I don't know. Where in this mess would she stash someone else's personal thoughts? Under the bed. She and Tessa were best friends. Until suddenly they weren't. Wonder what happened. Either Tessa got sick of Marianne's moods, or Marianne got sick of Tessa's judgment. Hmm. Moods. Maybe she was, um... Bipolar. Whatever's going on. 
going on. They won't let me in. They used to tell me everything. They shut me out, Tessa. They shut me out. I've had so much on my plate lately, and... And... They're convinced I'm the enemy, and I don't know why! Thanks for the alert, crew. I need them. I need my goblins. I remember now. We heard her crying. We listened through the door. Seeing her like this... As if she's still here. Really sucks. Yeah, that might she be She was creepy. really coming apart those last few months, wasn't she? It's here. I knew it. I Ooh. fucking knew it. That was quick. Do you think she read it? Of course. She was nosy as hell. <laughs> I kept diaries, but I never kept any of them. Aww. Hey, what's up, Moon? I'm doing good. Just uh, playing this new game. Tyler. Tyler. What? Look. She was gonna try. What? Where did you find that? It was on her desk with her papers. Seriously? Are you fucking kidding me? Look, we gotta be really careful not to overthink this. It doesn't make any sense. She, she was mad, right? She was mad I, I, I cut my hair. She attacked me because I cut my hair. She was mad and she attacked you. We both saw it. Then what is this shit? I don't know. I don't know. Tyler, come here. Sounds like bipolar. She can't do this to me. You know? know, or like maybe well, even I've finally made sense of a few things more intense, like she had split personalities or something. Well, that was your first mistake. What? Thinking Raven. the world made any kind of sense. Zoros, hype, 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 Zoros, hype. Thanks for the eight months. Yeah. How you doing? some air dang I didn't even get to finish looking around the room because I found the book too quickly my detective skills got really sharpened from our last game we played Hey, glad to hear it, Raven. I'm also doing well. It has been a long time since we last chatted. Detective Rose. Dang, man. That really sucks that I progressed the story on accident like that. Are you really, really sure? I am. Do it. Hey. Uh, here we go. <laughs> One hand. <laughs> oh god. Oh. Is it all gone? <laughs> yeah. It looks way better now. It, it looks amazing. <laughs> really? Yeah. <laughs> I can't wait to show mom. Mm -hmm. She's been so sad lately. 
More than sad. She's been scary. Yeah, but not tonight, though. It was almost like a party. <gasps> thank you, Allison. Oh, you was that the anniversary? You. You're my sister. Maybe? You know, the party I feel night? More like, like your brother. Brother, sister, we look out for each this other. This is so sweet. But, um, but it's so sad. Sure I just gave you a really bad haircut. <laughs> <laughs> Mom? Mom? Oh, man. This is about to get really intense, you guys. Beware. wrong. This is all wrong. Wait, stop. Dang. Yeah, it's very deep. Raven just walked in. Just like seeing this. Glad we found your diary. Me too. I guess she was trying to figure out where you were at. Yeah, well, she should have asked. I wasn't some goddamn research project. I was her child. Yeah, right? You did get here. It was dark, actually, from the very beginning. Like the very first scene was like, my mom attacked me with a gun, so I stabbed her. It's like, Raising what? your transgender child? Do you even know how rare these books were in 2005? Yeah. Was she trying to figure out how to support me? Maybe. Right? In 2005, She wasn't though? trying. She never... There was probably only a sense. couple books. I know. If that. You cutting your hair was what set her off, right? Allison... She read my diary. She already knew. It wasn't my hair. And if we were wrong about that... Fuck. You think she read it. It's possible she never even opened the diary, and that things are exactly like we always thought they were. But if she did, and they aren't... God, Tyler. Sure. I mean, we could have been wrong. But what good does it do to ask the question now? You mean uh, they're in 2015 the thought now. that my mom tried to kill me for being me? Tyler... I know you want there to be something to find. Something that'll make it all make sense. But she was unhinged. So that's it then. She was crazy. Nothing else to say. I think we'd be better off if we tried to move on. Why don't we talk to a few people who knew her? See if that book makes any sense to them. People don't want to talk about Marianne. They pretend like that night never happened. What about Tessa? She was Marianne's closest friend. I like that name. Tessa. Let's ask her about it. Sure. But I'll warn you, she's particularly touchy about this subject. Well, maybe she'll talk to me. I was always her favorite. <laughs> Operative word was. <laughs> but we need to go by the store anyway. To get a few things for the repairs. Great. Two seagulls, one stale hunk of bread. I'm not sure I like that. I knew a guy you. named Tatum. Listen, I know you don't want to keep talking about this. But you're obviously not going to be satisfied until we do. So let's talk. We called him Tate.
You've been on edge all day. Is there something more going on with you? It's nothing. Pretty sure it's Tater not nothing. Tuts. And I'd like us to be on the same page. I thought we were on the same page. Sell this place as quick as possible and move on. Look, I've already explained why this is so important to me. Why are you still dragging your feet? It's just, with the way you avoided this place for the last three years, I thought you wouldn't want to spend any extra time here. Oh. So that's what this is about. Maybe a little. Yeah. It's just... You graduated three years ago. And this is the first time mm. we've seen each other in person. It's not that I didn't want to see you. I just... wasn't ready to be <laughs> Tyler. Tatum Jenny. I tried to visit you. I tried to go to your fireweed graduation. I wanted to bake you a crappy boxed cake and take awkwardly posed photos. I know. But you shut me out. All I got was non-responses and half-assed evasions. <clears throat> Look, I didn't want to see anyone. I just started testosterone. And, oh god. I had the worst acne. My emotions were all over the place, and the smells... Allison, the smells... Men smell bad. I know. I've dated a few. Look, I needed some time to figure my shit out before I asked anyone else to try. <laughs> wow. Does says... that make sense? Yeah. Yeah, it does. So, we have a plan? Yep. We ask around about Marianne. But we also stick to our repair schedule. If that's really what you need. All right. Deal. Deal. Always diary. It's been a long time since I heard that name. Was I the only one who ever called you that? Actually, no. I used it at Fireweed for a while until I settled on Tyler. Most people were pretty chill about the switch. Not everyone, though. What do you mean? I had a mentee who refused to call me Tyler. Really? He didn't want my help. He didn't want anyone's help. I'm sorry. I like the name Tyler, by the way. Thanks. So, was her name Olivia before? Wait, do you guys want me to read this out live? How many pages is it? We're gonna freaking read forever. Again. Okay, there's only two pages. Oops. <clears throat> Mom and Allison argued again. At least I'm not the only one Mom is screaming at now. Mom almost seemed jealous that we didn't tell her what we were planning to do in the forest. Allie thinks we should tell her about our voice. I think she knows already. Mom seemed really upset when I asked her to join the hockey team. Like, it's wrong for me to play a boy's sport. I'm going to keep asking. I will try again next week. She said no again! I'm so mad at her! Why does she always say no? Why doesn't she ever let me do what I want to do? Allison and I started writing a story. Well, Allison did. She didn't like it when I tried to change anything. Why can't one of the goblins be a boy goblin? Saw Star Wars yesterday at Bobby's place. Luke was so great. But mom found out we watched it and got so mad. She said it gloried war. Zion, Zion. I don't know what that means. <laughs> Saturday, 5th, February, 2005. Would mom be happier if I could do what she wanted me to? When she looks at me, she just doesn't see me. I wish I could show her. I wish I could make her understand. I think she doesn't want to. Allison told me again that it was my fault mom got angry at us. See, she is such a suck up. Mom's barely said anything to us in a few days. 
Ellie said she saw her throwing away pages from the book of goblins. Do this, do that. I am sick of her voice. And I'm sick of that dumb name too. I'm Ollie the Goblin. It's really sad. Scroopy new bears. <laughs> What's up? <laughs> We're uh, playing a story game. Nice ring. Get from your boyfriend. Come on. I told you I'm not with anyone right now. Don't rub it in. Mm -hmm. Why does it look familiar? It was a gift from Eddie. He had them both made at the same time. Both? Oh, wait. Yeah. This ring was supposed to be linked to the one he gave you, in a spiritual way. Do you believe in all that? You mean, do I believe we could be linked in some other metaphysical way? You know, other than the one that already lets us share thoughts and memories. Fair enough. Yep. Not a bad view, right? I forgot how beautiful it is. Yeah, seriously, right outside their house, there's a lake and huge mountains. Remember that time we tried to cross the lake after it froze over? Oh yeah, how can I forget? Marianne lectured us for an hour. Well, she wasn't wrong, at least. It was really dangerous. If we'd fallen in, no more goblins. We grew up on this lake. We know how to spot thin ice. <sighs> All right. I think that's enough time enjoying the view. I wasn't going to say anything, <laughs> but... Yeah, yeah, I know. I was the one all eager to go, and then I started waxing poetic about the landscape. Go ahead. I'll catch up. Need to respond to a message. Uh -huh. My sister, the social butterfly. <laughs> he leaves his diary. Seems we got a trespasser. Huh? Whoa. What the fuck? You got five seconds to talk me into defending my property. Your property? Five. Four. I'm Tyler. Don't know any Tylers. Three. Two. Oh my god. Sam. Ellie? What are you doing out here, girl? This is our house. Was I talking to you? Sam. Put the gun down. Mm, what's up, bud? This I? is Tyler, my brother. Oh, your brother? Oh, shit. Mm. Uh, I guess I heard about all that, but I never. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> you look like a real man. Oh, my God. So do you, Sam. What a you rude what thing I mean. to say. I just didn't know they could make a woman look so much like a man. Word your words differently. Oh my god. You know, I'm just trying to be me. It's just who I am. Yeah, accept that. Mm. Well, Douchewad. I've seen a couple of lady transvestites on the TV before, but uh, I've never seen a dude. Sam. <laughs> That's not how you say that. Say what? Transvestites? Yes. It's transgender. Transgender men. Uh, I'm sorry. At least he's apologizing. It's hard to keep track out here in Delos Crossing. <laughs> the world's just moving on without us. It's fine. Let's just change the subject. <laughs> Works for me. Tyler. Thanks, Sam. <laughs> Yeah, I think he just didn't understand how to... Hey, there's so, that plane again! What are you doing here, exactly? Oh, well, I, uh... I've been kind of keeping an yes, eye on this yes. place for you, you know? Like, patching the roof... Olivia is now Tyler. All that stuff. Thank you, Sam. Oh, yeah, yeah, it's... Uh, that's no big deal. I just... You know, your mama, she was, uh... She was a special lady. She deserved much better than... You know, uh... What you got? Hmm. Didn't you used to help Mary Ann with repairs and building projects? Oh yeah. Oh. Yeah, seeing as your mom. He's gonna be the bear. Her, I took it on myself to help her keep this place standing. This is a great story. Well, so far. Of you. Thanks. I uh, guess you two are still. Maybe. Aiming to sell the place. That's the plan. 
Which, by the way, we need your keys. Since apparently you went and changed the locks? Oh yeah, absolutely. But, uh... He does look like an old bear. House? And sure? he seems Bad, to care about her. Good. It's all you've got left of her. Oh yeah, they're, they've definitely been the little goblins. When in the beginning, we were um, reading stories. Um, and they referred to themselves as the goblins. Not all. I'm sure the gun she tried to kill us with is still somewhere in there. Tyler! Ooh. What? Spitfire over what here. What Tyler means is, a fresh start is what we both need. Of course. This place has got to be full of all kinds of bad memories. But maybe some good ones, too? What? Of course Marianne is the princess. Right trigger to speak using your voice. I see, I thought he was drunk, too. Because of the way he was responding. Can you hear me? Ty, we can't do this when we're in the middle of talking to someone. But this is pointless. He's hammered. He's always hammered. And mm. who knows? Maybe it'll make him chatty. Now come on. People think our family is weird enough. Um, <laughs> everything okay with you two? <laughs> yes. No. Oh. <laughs> All right. Yep. How well did you know her? Not as well as I thought. When I heard what happened that night, well, I figured people were bullshitting me. It really surprised you, didn't it? Much I like the way ever. Tyler has his hair cut now. That's a really good style. With Other the folks said they saw super it short. Not me. I always like that style with the harsh line. What, should we talk again? I'm confused. Did you help with her door? Her door? The puzzle on her bedroom door. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. You two kept sneaking in and giving her no privacy, huh? You ever solved it? Yep. Better late than never, I guess. I uh, never solved it myself. Uh, I mean, not that I wanted to. I, I, uh, <laughs> uh, uh, so, uh, guess you know all your mama's secrets now, huh? Well, she may have one or two left. We should get going. That's all you think we'll get out of him? What? I mean, I asked the other question, right? I guess I could ask him a few more questions. There was only two. Okay. They're very forgiving in this game. How well did you know her? Not as well as I thought. Yeah, I already asked this. Well, I heard what happened that night. Well, I figured people were skip, bullshitting. Skip, skip. It really surprised you, didn't it? Much you can. What's up, Hula? Abort. <laughs> Other folks say they How saw you doing, girl? Not me. Yeah, this game's super forgiving. We should get going. That's all you think we'll get out of him. Oh, dang it. I pressed the wrong button. I guess I could ask him a few more questions. Whoops. Okay. We should get going. That's all you think we'll get out of him? <laughs> yeah, I haven't streamed another game on Twitch other than Beat Saber in quite a while, actually. Too wasted to be of any I used to do it more often. I'll do 
I'll have to get a move on then. I never will. Well, I'll be you've got a supply playing Xbox and then switch back Uncle to the Eddie's switch again. A visit, so. <laughs> oh, right. Yeah, of course. Uh, get going, you two. Um, Sam, we all got to get going. Oh, uh, of course. Of course, yeah, I got lots to do myself. I, lots of to-dos on old Sam's list. <laughs> yep. And you don't want to keep Brown waiting, you know? <laughs> Thanks for looking out for this place. Happy to do it. I uh, don't hesitate to reach out if you need anything. Anything at all. You hear? I actually Sam? have a huh? couple really fun games uh, on the list, though. Sam? Huh? The keys? So oh, I'll be playing yeah. some more. Of course. Like on course. Uh, uh, September 4th. Uh, the uh, Avengers game is coming out, mm -hmm. and I have that. This place. It so I'm really excited to, to play that. It almost felt like it was a part of her, and it's like some part of her is alive here still. Hopefully the house doesn't turn out to be a murderous psycho that tries to kill us in our sleep. Huh? Oh my gosh. Uh, yeah. Well, uh, <laughs> take care of yourself, uh, both of you. What is that, a potato? Hey, so, <laughs> we really do have a lot to do. Okay, go on. I'll be right behind you. I'm still sad that I missed that, that other part. I want to go back into the room. And, uh, and look at the stuff that I skipped on accident. Oh no, what was the last thing that you saw? I don't know when, when your internet went out. It goes pretty good so far. I'm really enjoying the story. Man bun. Yeah, I can't go back. I accidentally progressed the story. And, um. Ready to Veni Vidi Vecchi? Yeah. I'm ready to talk to Tessa. Just. Because I found the diary too soon. memory of her is 10 years out of date. Yeah, well, it wouldn't be if she reached out to me while I was in Firewheel, which she didn't. The phone so works both Mrs. ways. Michael? Oh, I'm playing Allison again. Hey, you. Hey. Oh, right. You your day off? Yep. We're here as patrons. Tyler, meet Michael. This is the annoying coworker I was telling you about. I was there for your introduction of marshmallow vodka and wine coolers, and I've only worked my way up to annoying okay. co-worker. Rude. <laughs> Don't worry. She told me exactly how miserable she'd be in this town without you. It's so good to finally meet you. The Tyler talk goes on 24-7, so I feel like I already know you. So, so maybe uh, they're 21. Grab some stuff for the homestead, or? Yeah, we decided it'd be easiest if we just stayed out there. We'll get it cleaned mm. up faster if we literally cannot escape it. Hey, I'm all for efficiency. Cannot wait for us to get out of here. What's that? <laughs> oh, uh, Michael is moving to Juno too. Oh, and did you guys plan on moving together, or? Well, I mean, yeah. It'll be cheaper. You gonna to let it grow out for the man, but then? Nothing set in stone. Makes sense. There could be room for you too. <laughs> for sure. 
The more Ronins, the merrier. I'm studying to be a chef, so uh, you know it'll be good eating. And hey, I only snore during allergy season and baseball. <laughs> How can I say no to that? <laughs> you okay? I'm dead on my feet, girl. Got up at four to fish before work. It's been a day. Oh, you like to fish? Yeah, there's this spot called Buzzard Hole I go to at least twice a week. It's like an hour drive, but it's so chill, especially first thing in the morning. Shut up. I used to go there all the time. For real? Yeah. Hey, well, if you want to go sometime, holler at me. I don't mind sharing. Cool. Most guys I know get all Smeagol about their fishing spots. <laughs> <laughs> Smeagol? <laughs> My oh, precious. You two? Bonding over the most slow and boring way to kill an animal. She's just jealous because she couldn't catch a fish. Even if she filled the lake with cyanide I'm first. Not... Oh, never mind. Tyler, we better get started with our shopping. Yeah, I'll be around if you need anything. I was waiting till the talking stopped so we didn't miss any any contacts. But um yeah, I actually played Heavy Rain. I just finished it. Uh when did we finish it? Saturday? So that game is really fun, but you could for the the one on the computer, I could go back and reload the um the chapters cuz I accidentally killed somebody too. <laughs> By accident. But yeah, Sunset pretty much what what Bayan said about that you find out the mother was trying to accept Tyler's transition and then they're all kind of like confused now about like what was going on with her and they, they want to find out more or at least Tyler does. So they're going to go talk to her close friend and that's what we're doing now. My, uh, my nephew has enough hair for a little bun and my uh, sister-in-law always gives him a little man bun on top of his head. <laughs> it's kind of funny. Hmm. We do. We have sunset and sunshine. Oh, we running again. I do like Tyler's haircut, though. Where's the memory? Here it is. I want to have the crispy tocino and noodles and spring rolls. And can we get the coconut cake for dessert? Easy, easy, my hungry goblins. We have to leave some food for the other customers. But Auntie Tessa said we can have whatever we want. <laughs> so she owns this cafe. So, Bayan, are you going to make those? What are they called? Fried okay. banana rolls. What? Right. Fried mm. banana no, rolls. I'm pretty sure she made them special for us. That sounds awesome. Uh, are you gonna go with some, some tattoos, and a a bottle of Jack too? That was kind of Aquaman's thing. Never wear a shirt. Get super jacked. You know. Giant. Giant six pack and huge pecs. Yeah, always be wet. Good one, fair one. How do I. Can I go in there? I can see it. Ah, there we go. <laughs> hey, Ollie! Look! I'm the ruler of this kingdom! Get it? Because it's a dome. You're gonna fall, stupid. King dome. <laughs> well, that's kind of funny. <laughs> I can't believe you didn't laugh. That was hilarious. Not as funny as you getting all pouty when I didn't laugh at your jokes. I loved baiting you. It was my favorite thing. He's definitely a looker. Rough around the edges, though. Weren't they talking about demolishing this playground? Yeah. Tourists complained it wasn't safe. Ugh, crybabies. Playground should be ground zero for natural selection. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Wow. Unfortunately, Delos Crossing is too cheap to replace it.
He said playgrounds playgrounds should be ground zero for natural selection. Meaning if a kid is dumb enough to get themselves killed at a playground, <laughs> it's natural selection. Pretty rough. Come on, I'm freezing here. Yeah, I hear you, Tyler. You're very outspoken, you know. What? Mystic! Thanks for the three oh, months! Hello, Ronan. Did you three forget something in the office? No, nope. he's doing some shopping. You remember my brother? Tyler? Zoro's cheerleader. Your brother? Oh! How are you doing? Right, Tyler. Uh, what a pleasant surprise. Didn't Allison tell you I'd be by today? Yes, I think she did. I just didn't expect to see such a dapper young man. Hmm. <laughs> well, I did shower this morning. <laughs> did you just get back into town, or...? More or less. We've been working out at the old house, but surprise, surprise, after ten years of sitting empty, it was missing a few things, hence the supply run. Ah, oh, right. Well, we'll get you set right up. It must be nice to be home. Uh, I'm not sure nice is the word for it. Oh, of course. Mm. I assume being there feels complicated. That's one word. That's one way to describe it. Yeah. Well, don't let me keep you any longer. I'll be here if you need anything. Oh, hey, is Tessa around today? Um, the wife's not in at the moment. I'm sure she'll be around later, though. Oh, nice. What, uh, what rank are you sitting at? Okay, so we need candles and an all-purpose cleaner. Plus snacks and drinks. I'm starving. Snacks and drinks Did sound good. Look, all the good fishing spots are marked. Ooh. I don't have my phone on me. And you know you could just Google all this later, right? <laughs> Old fishermen aren't going to share this juicy intel with the internet. Juicy intel. But uh, I actually did some PP grinding uh, yesterday. I moved 100 ranks. So it was actually just over 100. It was a good session for sure. Can you believe Tessa and Tom were ever young? I heard that I may have a little less going on in the hair department, but you should see the rest of Delos High, class of 81. Fair enough. <laughs> Aren't you running for more gun control? My platform calls for sensible regulations, but folks around here need guns for safety. And as you know, we run extensive background checks before each and every sale. Hmm. Ah, man. Oh, she doesn't Very sound supportive. Everything from the whole thing. Tessa hated it. America. Hey, Tom. There's something I can help you with? How's business? Oh, a little light on customers, but that's given us time to finish up the inventory. I think we might close early. Maybe catch the final of Survival on Ice live. But <clears throat> don't tell Tessa, but I'm rooting for Butch. She thinks he's too cutthroat. I say that's the game. You tried that new chocolate bar we got in last week? Oh, no. Not yet. I didn't think I'd like it. Habanero and chocolate. That sounds but weird. it's not bad. What do they think up next, huh? Nice. 7.36, that's really good. What's next on the campaign trail? A rally down at the harbor. The fishermen are getting pretty fed up with business as usual. I've got some ideas about how to keep the fish populations up, but also put food on the table. Um, Grab some flyers. Help spread the interesting. word. Interesting. I'm cur okay. I I'll talk curious what parts are... Um, copyrighted in the song maybe some of the musics or something but uh i don't think it's really an issue i mean possibly the only way that it would be a problem is if somebody specifically clipped out the part that was and reported it so what do you think your snack was are you a candy girl or a chips girl chips and candy both <laughs> ah, i can't pick both Man. Chips. Salt and vinegar is the only thing that sits right if my stomach's acting up. Wasn't planning on making out with anybody tonight. So, let's go for it. <laughs> hmm. I should write down their info for after the move. And I will fly away. 
Athletic, graceful, and spirited. Sounds like you. Sorry, I might be movie star handsome, but I can't act for shit. <laughs> Strawberries in November. Tyler, you want water, soda, juice? Whatever you want. I'm not picky. Wish any of it sounded good. I'm grabbing some water. You do you, girl. <laughs> you do you, girl. I just stuck it in my pocket. About to steal it. No to the ice cream? Fine. What's up, Michael? <laughs> Inventory, huh? Uh, yeah. Ooh, my mind yep. is so Get that schoolwork right done. We'll see you later, anyway, Mystic. Thanks again the for the free months. Going? Finding everything you need? Yeah, I'd be done already, but I'm letting Tyler browse and take it all in. Must be weird for him to be back here. It is, and it doesn't help that everyone around here keeps making it weirder, but he's doing okay, all things considered. Hmm. I feel like there's a story Look that... Look at that life jacket. Come on, spill. Oh, yeah, it definitely would affect um, some things, but really it's only it's clips. Kind so. of unsettling to go back to the old house after all this time. How are you feeling? Still unsettled, but it'll pass. All right, well, I'll be here if you need me. It could have been that um, the people who were playing the game had their own music going on in the background. Should I get you know? the fancy scented one? Sure. Let's class the joint up. Toasted marshmallow? If that doesn't <laughs> make the house more welcoming, what will? I don't even know where he went. Hey, Tyler. Remember the Trout King? Yeah, I saw it. I thought Tom might have retired him by now. <laughs> you kidding? He never misses a chance to tell customers he won a Trout Derby. It was a 12 <laughs> hey, Tom, when'd you get that new California plate? Do you remember that nice young couple that came through town last summer? With the funky band. They sent you their license plate? Their band got impounded. And I pulled some strings to get it out. So, by pulled strings, you mean you gave Eddie a discount on those new waiters? I've got friends in high places. <laughs> Can I get these chips now, or did he... Oh, he got them. Okay, good job, Tyler. Michael. You want me to pick up some birch syrup for you? Is that some roundabout way of asking me to make you two my world famous pancakes? Ooh, busted. I can't take it? Oh. Must be some kind of syrup. Where the heck did Tyler go? Oh, there he is. Ice cream. What do we still need to get? I haven't found the cleaning stuff yet. Oh, right. Cleaning stuff. Any opinion on cleaning products? Only that using them is an unfortunate way to spend an afternoon. <laughs> I'll take the strong one. Okay, I think we're done here. Tom will ring us up at the counter. Get the TP. <laughs> Game is awesome so far. Really uh, story rich. Will that be all? Yes. Thank you, Tom. Literally changed. Oh, hi, Tessa. We were just meaning to come talk to you. Hi, Tessa. Hi. Long time no see. Oh my God. What's gonna happen here? You look like here? a completely different person. It's me. Plus beard. Yes. So we were out at the old house today. Heavens, why would you go there? I'm surprised it's even still standing. We found some stuff in Mary Ann's room that took us by surprise. Oh, really? We want to ask you some questions about her. You're the only person who might have known Mary Ann better than us. I, I don't know about that. It's been a decade, kids. I know, 
but I need to ask. What is it? Did she ever talk about me being a boy? No. It never came up. I found out much later, just like everybody yeah. else. Marianne was obviously concerned. She really didn't confide did in you child. at all? Your mother was intensely private. She didn't need anyone else, and she made that clear. But this was about Tyler. She was always willing to ask for help when it came to us. Not at the end. Look, I have a lot on my plate today. I'm sorry. My advice to you would be to try to move on. It's not that easy. Ugh, this is so sad. <sighs> what happened that night? You can't understand something like that, but it was God's plan. Mm. That's all we can know. I need to go now. Best of luck to you, truly. It is not ever the way I would what describe that to somebody. That? I told you she wouldn't talk. It's like she's got CIA training. Something's mm. weird here. It's weird, right? Yeah, I feel it too. It's like something's on the tip of my tongue. I wonder if she's the pelican. Is there a memory? What, what's up, Tyler? Where is it? Hey guys, you all done yet? Yeah, Mom. Can we go outside while you and Tessa play cards? I'm afraid there's no time for games today, sweetie. Now let's go. Marianne, can you come here? Sorry, Tessa, I'm in a bit of a hurry. Oh? What's your excuse this time? Emergency repairs for the beaver dam? Tessa, look. No, I don't want to hear it. I want to talk to you now. Or do I need to start calling in your debt? Interesting. I'd completely forgotten about that. I remember it, but not exactly like that. Here, let's see if we can call up my version, okay? Uh, Mom? Can we go outside while you and Tessa play cards? No, there's no time for games today. Marianne? Can we talk? No, we can't. Just leave the groceries, kids. Let's go. Don't. Please, let's just talk for a few minutes. Okay? Hmm. Okay. We remember that slightly differently. I yeah. guess that makes sense. Rashomon, you know? But whatever happened, after that, they walked to the counter, and then Marianne lashed out at Tessa, right? Uh, no. Marianne defended us because Tessa got all preachy. <laughs> Your day off, and you spend it in the office? <laughs> yeah. I guess I missed you guys. Oh, she works here? Oh, I'm off. Okay. And then I got five nine-to-fives in a row. Is there something I can do for you? So what are you doing there? Oh, just inventory. Guess I'm lucky I had the day off, huh? <laughs> yes, what a lucky coincidence. The puzzle did take a while. We were pretty much on the puzzle for most of the time. No, never mind. There was like one scene after that where they... Can I help you, Allison? <laughs> oh, uh, no, no thanks. I'm good. I'm just looking for something that I forgot. What's this doing here? But uh, we just had a conversation outside, pretty much, about the mom and then coming here to talk to Tessa. Wait, th could I examine that book? Can I help you, Allison? Oh, uh, no, no thanks. I'm good. I'm just looking for something that I forgot. Man, Tessa keeps track of everything in these notebooks. Like what? Any loans she's given out, 
stuff she lets regulars take for Are free. we gonna steal it? They're tired. And then what? She starts passing out horse heads if people don't pay her back. Uh, I think she just likes having a record. She's gonna hand it off to St. Paul like a resume. Man, hmm. Tessa keeps track of everything in these notebooks. Like I can't what? take it. Any loans she's given out, the stuff she lets regulars take for free. Even her I time. wish there was a skip. And then what? Button. She starts passing out horse heads if people don't pay her back. I think she just likes having a record. She's gonna hand it off to St. Paul like a resume. Choose which memory? Please, let's just... Talk for a few minutes. Look, okay? we need to agree on one Please, version Please, Marianne, I'm just trying. Out. Stay away I from my children. Think they don't need it. Correctly. Guys, which is it I going to be? To help. I don't need help. Not from you, not from anyone else in this fucking town. I'm I done think... with all of you. You're done with this the one. food I give you? The fuel? Maybe you are, but the She's the pelican. My children, Tessa. She's definitely mine. the pelican. Not yours. Please, let's not do this here. Let's go into my office. Fine. Okay. You two, wait here. Hmm. I'm still skeptical, but okay. For now, let's say Marianne was being Marianne. What's up, Alfred? Once they got into the office, they both went at it hard. What do you think they were arguing about? Me? Don't know. It was impossible to hear anything after she cranked up the music. Mm. But hey, now that we know she was lying to our faces, let's ask her. Oh, geez. Okay, let's just confront her. Is there something I can do for you? Earlier you said Marianne kept everything to herself. But you two had a big fight a few months before her death, didn't you? We argued all the time. What? Yeah, Happy birthday! Secret. This wasn't about That's awesome. who cheated at Canasta. This was intense. You locked yourselves in the office so we couldn't hear. I'm sorry. It was a long time ago. Now, I was in the middle of something. Okay. Rude. We'll leave you to it. What'd you do today? Shit. I think she knows more than she's letting on. Obviously. But duh. But there's no way to nail her down when we don't even know what we mean. If we could pinpoint what it was about, she'd be out of excuses. Sure, but how do we do that? The music was too loud to make out what they were saying. Mm. You had a good day? Awesome. Marianne and Tessa so were obsessed with that song. It was on all the time. What are you thinking? We've been getting these visions whenever we see or hear something really emotional. Maybe listening to it will trigger something. Hmm. You may be onto something here, Ronan. We can't go back to her with anything half-assed. We should go talk to Tom. Make sure we build as strong of a case as possible. Let's see if we can figure out what song it was. Hey, Tom. There's something I can help you with? How's business? Oh, a little light on customers. Oh, but that's given that. us time to finish up the inventory. I think we might close early. Maybe catch the final of Survival on Ice live. I've Don't already had a couple Tessa that have um, she started to matter. Cutthroat. You I can tell when the, game. You the little sparkles come up. Got in last week? Oh, no, not yet. I didn't think I'd like it. Habanero and chocolate. Such a weird combo. It's not bad. What do they think up next? Habanero huh? and chocolate. This might be a weird question, but do you remember the song that Tessa and Marianne used to love? They played it all the time. <laughs> How could I forget? Uh, I think Beers she's and champagne. Nice. What kind worse of cake? For the wear, of course. Uh, hold on. What kind of cake did you have? Huh, here it is. I was happy when it got put away. To be honest, a bit cheesy for my taste. Peach cake. Oh, it's because you said cake. 
Remember you told me to add cake? To the, uh, the list? <laughs> this is it, right? I think so. <laughs> I added them all. <laughs> Whoa. I just got hit with a flood of memories. You see nope, what I'm saying? Nope, bottom is it. Yeah. Should we check this one out? Come join me. I know you love this song. No, I couldn't possibly. Some of us are actually trying to get work done here. I forgot how carefree she could be. Yeah. What the hell happened? You think there's more memories lurking around? I don't know. Let's see. Kids keep pestering me for these candies. They're so expensive. I'll just grab a bag. It's fine. Oh, no. I, I can't, Tessa. It's nothing. Okay. But write it down in your little notebook. Okay, okay. Whatever you want. There. Happy? Yes. And I'll be by on Wednesday to help you close. Like I promised. Mira is here. I think you mean Tessa was self-righteous and treated Marianne like a charity case. She was trying to help. We should go find that notebook she was holding. Pretty sure I saw one marked 2004 in the office closet earlier. What is he doing? He's like playing with him. What, Nero? There was nothing even over there. <laughs> He was like spinning around. I could feel him like shaking the room when he jumped. What are you doing here? Uh, I thought you needed help at the store. I needed help two hours ago. Have you been drinking? What? I knew it. No, I just had a day, okay? I took a pill. I'm fine. Here I am. I said I'm fine. Kids, come on, let's go. Wait, please. I have something for you. Take a look at this when you get home, okay? They can handle this confusion. I've been working with these people for years. They can help. Mm. It's that youth. What do you think that group. pamphlet was Tessa gave okay. to Mary Ann? I don't know. I saw it in Mary Ann's room. It had a creepy vibe, but I didn't think much about it. It was bad, though. Like Chocolate cake? Awesome. Therapy. <gasps> Peanut butter. It's true. I want to know how Marianne felt about that it. That sounds amazing. And we need to hit Tessa with some hard proof. That sounds absolutely amazing. I love chocolate and peanut butter together. It's like the Can best. Can I help ever. you, Allison? Oh, uh, no, 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 thanks. I'm, I'm just good. gonna steal your I'm book just now. I'm just looking for something that I ah, 2004. Anything interesting? June, twenty-four dollars for a meal at the restaurant paid off. September, eleven dollars for the kid. This is Elijah. How do I turn the page? Someone got paid to write this. Eric. What? That's it? Just these two? I must be turning the wrong way somehow, even though I'm prompted to the next page. Yeah. No show. 
It looks like Marianne started flaking on her debt in October 2004. Five months before that night. Why don't I see a follow alert? It didn't even tell me in chat. Let's see. Gam logger. Thank you so much for that follow. I don't know why it wasn't showing up. Weird. Oh, yeah, there it is. Weird. That is weird. Did you finish, uh, Tessa? Is it okay if I run a quick Google search? My phone's dead. Sure, but make it quick. I'm going to need the computer. What am I doing here? Virtue Seekers Youth Camp. Mm. Is that what she recommended for Tyler? I don't know what to say. I'm sorry, Tyler. Yeah. Let's see how Tessa explains this one away. I think we've seen enough. Yeah, we've got a good sense of what went down. Let's talk to Tessa. Get in here, Tyler. Let's go. Time for the interrogation. Is there something I can do for you? We're back with details that should help your memory. Oh, really? This is yes, her employer, really. and she's just like Marianne yelling at him. Marianne was having one of her days. You were trying to talk, but she wasn't cooperating. The two of you started arguing, and you went in the office and cranked up that song you both loved. Hmm. And when was that? Well, our memories don't exactly have timestamps. Oh, crap. I should have paid attention. I don't know. Anybody have an idea? Okay, I'm going with it. Shit. August 2004. That's Set. when she stopped paying off her debts to you, right? August? <laughs> no, that doesn't sound right. I distinctly <laughs> remember her helping during the summer rush. We were still on good terms then. So you did end up on bad terms at some point? When? I honestly can't pinpoint the exact moment. But she got harder and harder to be around. I'm sure we never fought about money, though. I, I could see that she was struggling. Yeah, we didn't think you guys were arguing about money. Hmm. What to say? She sounded like she'd had enough of Delo's Crossing. She said she was done with you and the whole town. Was she having some sort of episode that day? Oh gosh, pray the gay away. I'm sorry. It's I'm horrible. really trying hard, but I just can't remember. Your mother acted erratic for months. We fought many times. Was it ever about me? It was always about a lot of things. She was struggling with I should have asked about Tyler. The end. Did you try I to convince up. Marianne to send Tyler to some kind of program? No. And I think you should go now. Tessa. I'm here to figure out if Marianne tried to kill me because of who I am. Do you get that? I do. I just... Then why won't you help me? I truly don't understand what went on in her mind that day. And it will always be my deepest regret that I didn't see it coming. I hope you find your answers. I really do. I pray every night for you, too. But I... I have a lot on my plate right now. So... I need to ask you to wait. Sure, we'd hate to be a burden. Can we have our groceries? Ah, uh, um, Michael already put them in your trunk. Okay, thanks. Bye, Tom. See you later. Hmm. What are you thinking? Just trying to wrap my brain around all that. 
She led us on a bit of a conversational snipe hunt, didn't she? Yeah, but it's kind of an answer, right? She didn't want to admit what they were fighting about, which makes me think it was me. You spooked her with that talk about the program. I think Marianne really was trying to figure out how to support me before whatever the hell happened that pushed her over the edge. You may be right. Yeah. She stood up for me, Allison. She was still crazy Marianne, but she saw me. I feel lighter. Like I've been carrying something around for the last 10 years and now it's gone. I, I'm really happy for you. But that just opens a whole new box of Pandora's, doesn't it? Damn shipping crate full. Yes. Well, it's a Tyler good used to be us. Olivia. He knew Marianne pretty well, and he was in charge of her case. Did he ever mention anything about the investigation to you? No, I never asked. And I'm sure he thought I was better off not knowing. Guess that might have made for some awkward dinner conversation. Exactly. But I mean, he's a good cop. Thorough. I'm sure he's got something. Let's go. Yep. You got it, Maddie. That's exactly why. Sunshine, how much longer would you say that there is of the story? Be sure to ah. I'm freaking contacts, man. Hey. This is kind of bleak. I wasn't stuck it's on it. I was crowded, reading. But the other officers punch out at six o'clock sharp. <laughs> There's no crime after six. In the I'm really enjoying it, Crossing, Lindsay. just bears and drunken disorderlies. Okay. And Uncle Eddie can usually handle them so on his own. plenty of time. But what about drunk bears? <laughs> anyway, he's probably in his office. Upstairs. Damn. They still got this creepy mascot, huh? What? Officer Justin Beaver is not creepy. I don't mind creepy. him. He's Delos Crossing's longest serving officer. Well, there's more than one chapter. It's just there's only one released right now. So the other chapter will come out next week. They're going to um, release Hold on. another chapter. Every I want to catch up on all the Delos Crossing gossip. Oh, that's all just public safety stuff. Nothing that interesting. Home sweet home. Hmm. Did you spend a lot of time here growing up? Yeah, whenever Eddie was working. The whole precinct's basically family. Hmm. <laughs> it's freezing in here. Hmm. Probably is. Remember Mr. Haynes? Vaguely. He had that workshop in his garage, right? Made those huge glass sculptures? Yeah. He's been missing for a couple months. Damn. Interesting. I always liked his art. You never did find him. This happened when we were kids, right? Yeah. Okay. Marianne freaked out and wouldn't drive after dark for a few weeks.
Greg's. Just leaving this out on display again. Greg's? Like Officer Greg's? The one who was with us that night? Yeah, he's still here. He became a bit of a local celebrity after nabbing a murderer from Juno. The guy was hiding out on a fishing boat and got really, really sick after eating out of the chum bucket. So it was actually a pretty easy takedown. Whew, that is going to smell lovely tomorrow. It's from Tessa's restaurant, right? Uh-huh. Everyone eats there all the time. It's as exciting as food gets in Delos Crossing. <laughs> Man, they are never gonna catch this guy. What exactly did he do? This guy keeps stealing out of people's mailboxes. Asshole snagged a box of fancy washi tape I ordered online. <laughs> washi tape? Uh, geez, I was picturing an actual mailbox bandit. You know, like hopping around on a post with a little mask on the door. Huh? You know, the mailbox is the bandit. Sorry, it was a bad joke. The mailbox bandit, huh? It up there. I'm not ready to go upstairs yet. I'm looking at things. I think that that huh. looks like she forgot her locker key here. Chum bucket is like the fish. She's gonna bucket, give me so right? much crap for forgetting her birthday. Hey, thank you for the follow, Modern. Damn. That's Denise Wilson's desk. Remember her? Uh, Crazy D? The woman who set fire uh -huh. to her ex's trailer? Oh, Allegedly God. set fire. She was acquitted. And that's Officer Wilson to you. Oof, I should have gotten her something. You're a terrible person. It's your fault. I was so excited to see you that it completely slipped my mind. Remember this fella? No way. Is that Jet? Yep. <laughs> Crazy he, uh, ass. He died last year putting himself between D and a bear. Oh, oh my damn. gosh. Poor D. Oh, that's a dog. Maybe she won't notice that I added it afterward. <laughs> What? No, I'm going to say happy birthday. Remember Oops. this fella? No way. Is that Jet? Yep. Dang. He, uh, he died last year. I should take her out for a birthday drink. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. dog sledders. Okay. So much stuff to look at. You remember Dan and Shelby? I think so. The high schoolers who were always pissing Tessa off because they would blast fish and make out in the Vecchi's parking lot. Yep. Dan's a cop now. They're married and have a kid, a dog, the Ooh. whole shebang. Thanks for the Damn. work, Sunshine. When did everybody decide to become an adult? Something's in the way. There's one place I didn't go yet, which was in here. So we're gonna do this first. The 
before we go upstairs. Or not. Still locked. Wait. What? Yeah, I know. I just don't want to do it yet because it might, you know, continue on the story and I'm not done searching stuff. Can I take that key? Huh. Looks like she forgot her locker key here. Oh, it's just a locker key. Never mind. Tyler, you coming? Wait, what? I thought it was up here. Come on, man. We can't make these poor kids sleep here. Well, where do you suggest they go? Social services will be here in a few hours, and this is the only room with a bed. Anywhere but a cell. What? We'll find some other place. Then. I don't know, but it's off limits anyway. Maybe Eddie would show us her file? <laughs> Doubtful. Allison, hey. Just finishing up a call. Trying to convince Melinda the Ravens and her garbage aren't police business. Give me a few mm. minutes. <laughs> sure. Make yourselves a cup of coffee. Here's the key to the break room. Thanks. Come back upstairs when you're done, okay? He does not look like he's old enough to adopt her. Coffee sound good? The machine is in the break room downstairs. Uh-huh. Not at all. I thought I'd lock those memories in some deep, deep part of my brain. Same here. <sighs> Something's in the way. Oh, that's reception. Where's the break room? Holding cell. Take it as in one of these. Okay, let's go in. Wait, where is this memory supposed to be? I got... It started happening when I was right here. 
So I think I go left, right? I'm so confused. Wow, it doesn't even have a sparkle. Where are we going? We're just gonna sit down in here, and I'm gonna ask you a few questions, okay? Okay. You okay? Yeah. Yeah, it was weird. I just usually try my best not to remember that night when I'm here. locked why am I trying to go into her locker in the first place wait was my phone just vibrating or was there something in the game that was doing that it was weird it was in the game oh okay Well, it didn't let me have the option to take the key. It's not like I just have full control over this game. I only get to do what they let me. I'm just feeling a little nauseous. Ooh, that's gotta be a new record. How is this still warm? <laughs> you sure you want coffee this late in the day? You'll be up all night. Uh, I don't think I'll sleep much anyways. Too much in my mind. Those dusty couches won't make it any easier. Hey, you okay? I have no idea who that is. Ashley Johnson. I can't do this. Calm down, Allison. Stick to the plan. Come on, don't freak out on me now. I can't. Please, I can't lie. We already lied. Oh, what? It's all going to be fine, okay? They lied? You okay? What did they lie about? Honestly, no. Do you ever regret? No, no way. Well, maybe once or twice early what? on, but now, no way. I mean, look where we're at. Look where I'm at. Yeah. Uncle Eddie's probably done by now. We should go find him. Um, Do you mind if I go inside that room for a second? Uh, you sure? What room? In there? I, uh, it was gifted to me, so I didn't pay for it. Check out this masterpiece. $30. Uh-huh. I glued it to the pot one day when I was bored, and nobody has bothered to peel it off. I'm not that hungry. <laughs> hey, cookies are good. So was there something else that I needed to mess with in here? Just that, okay. I actually am that hungry. Oh, that's what was in the way. This is heavier than I expected. <clears throat> Strange. Oh, right, I read that earlier. It's the 
first time I've been well, here hey. since that night. Eddie was so uncomfortable, he dropped a vase. Well, I will, but after I'm done. I'm here. here. Um, have a seat. All right. Yep, let's. Ah, damn it. No. Sorry. Huh, they kept this? It's that vase. They glued it back together. Hmm. Interesting. What do you mean, hopefully I don't progress the story? I'm not doing anything to do that. I'm just looking around. It would progress the story if I went back and talked to, what's his name? Eddie. Why did you separate us? Is Ollie okay? Ollie's just fine, honey. They're all in the other room having cocoa. Everything's gonna be okay. I need to ask you a few questions now. Come with me. Except for he's lying. Not everything's gonna be okay. He ended up arresting her brother and refusing to let her see him for seven years. So. Yeah, sorry. You kind of lied. The deal, but it's a lot. I'm about to break into this girl's locker, and I have no idea why. She won't notice if we borrow this, right? As long as we put it back right where we found it, we're good. There was nothing except for the fact that I looked at it that made me want to even go into her locker. So. We really shouldn't be in here. We're just snooping yes, now. You never know where we might find information about that night. I guess so. So Wilson leaves her locker key in her desk and her password reminder in her locker? That's so irresponsible. An intruder could easily access all kinds of police files with this. Yeah, like two goblin intruders. <laughs> so, but it doesn't actually tell me the password. Balto came through. <laughs> Balto. What? Winner on my 20th birthday. Hmm. Am I supposed to learn something from this? Winner on my 20th birthday. I don't see her actual password though. What am I missing here, you guys? That how do you know that's her password? That doesn't make any sense. So, October 29th, Yeah, that sounds really weird. Like, that doesn't seem like a good explanation. Not take the left. 
So, isn't Brown waiting for us? We should head back to his office. But can't we go in here and and get on the computer? Yeah. Whew. Lois never lets me back here. Huh. Lois left the computer I'm a, on. I'm a strict boss. Oh, have a good one, Ray. Okay. So... Wait, but I can't put numbers? Okay, so maybe it's a cat. Winner on my 20th birthday. But it's all letters. It was from Rose. What was the other girl's name? Uh, I don't want to look at the birthday card. I don't even see a birthday card. It's in here, right? You didn't do this? What were you doing? Okay, 29th birthday. What? She said winter on my, tw maybe it did say 29 and we just didn't see it. Keep up the good work. Rosie, maybe? Oh, no, that's from Rosie. Maybe it's happy? She won't notice if we... I mean, I guess we can go this, look again, right? but... As long as we put it back right where we found it, we're good. Forgot to go, oh wait, so you looked in the locker, but you didn't go and get into the computer? Well, you know, I put the tag backseat gaming aloud if you'd like to share with the class. If you don't want to, you don't have to. But, just saying. Is it Balto? Balto came through. It's a Balto. Winner on my 20th birthday. Hmm. Oh, because Balto won. So it's not a cat. That's a horrible drawing. That is a horrible drawing. I would have guessed that if I knew that was of a dog. But that picture literally looks like a cat. So maybe if I would have drawn a dog earlier, I would have drawn it the same way and I would have had more of an idea of what their idea of what a drawing of a dog would look like. <laughs> yeah. Possibly. Did you put the key back at least? Cause she'll, it'll like affect things I'm sure later if you forgot to. Because she's going to be like, where's my key? Somebody logged into my computer. OK. Um, Damn it. <gasps> That's not it? Her name is Denise. Oh, is it D. Wilson? Is this the right one? I'm 
I'm confused. It has to be it. That has to be it. Yeah, but I can't type any numbers, so that doesn't help. Um, yeah. Happy 29th birthday, Denise. So that's her name. Oh, you're right. So, oh, okay, the winner's list is right here. I remember looking at it earlier. Smart, Fairwin. Good job. Take her out for a birthday drink. Yeah, I looked at this earlier. So, nine years ago, right? If it's 2015. So we're looking at 2000, Mitch. Right? Wait, am I looking at the wrong day? Where do you guys see Salem? Oh. I guess I don't know how to count. I subtracted a uh, 11 days or 11 years instead of nine. <laughs> oh. Right. It w didn't go all the way to this year. So Bingo. Yeah! Good job, team. We did it. Anything okay. juicy? Just... Oops, I didn't mean to skip oh, that. Sam. What about him? He got arrested for public intoxication last week, and that was not his first offense. He's on a bit of a downward spiral. Just Between Us, season two. None of this is any good. What? This is all we get? It doesn't even give us anything. Yeah, but what does that matter? Okay. That was a lot of work. I thought we were going to access, like, everything. Lame. All right, upstairs we go, I suppose.
I was thinking we were gonna get to access something good. Hey, sorry that took so long. Sometimes these old folks want us to come out just because they're lonely. No worries, Uncle. Hey, do you remember this guy? Oh. Yeah, of course. Should we have How looked in I the forget? Lost and Found? I didn't think about Tyler that. Tyler Ronan. Back in Delos Crossing. <laughs> it's uh, good to be back. And just look at you. A man grown. Yep, guess I ate my Wheaties. The whole clan's <laughs> so proud of you. How you work with those kids at Fireweed. I would say children of the future. I thought that was Whitney Houston. <laughs> Come on, bro. She stole her entire act from me. Everybody knows that. Look at you two. Reunited and it feels so good, huh? <laughs> yeah. Not sure how I got by without this dork. Look, Eddie, we aren't here just to say hi. We found something in Marianne's room. Things aren't really adding up anymore, and we've got questions. Oh, yeah? Hmm. Did she mention anything about us that might have been worrying her? About Tyler in particular? No. She dealt with those kind of worries all on her own. Kept the rest of us at arm's length. I see. I will tell you one thing, though. Your mom. Never knew her to hate anyone for being unconventional. Usually, it's the other way around. Did anyone mention anything about her behavior in the days leading up to that day? Anything at all? No. Everyone I talked to said it took them by surprise. Did you see her at all? Like, in those last few days? No. I hadn't seen her for weeks. Maybe a month before. Thanks, Uncle Eddie. If you want my advice, nothing good comes from stirring up old memories. <laughs> That's the whole part of we this game. We don't really have a choice about that. There's always a choice, son. I know sometimes it doesn't seem like it, but there is. <laughs> Can we take a look at her file? Maybe we'd see something you didn't. Her file? Her case file, her police file, whatever you call it. You keep those pretty much forever, right? We do, but I can't just pull it out right here, right now. Their procedures. But you're the chief. Which makes it even more important that I follow procedures. Look, Chief Brown, are you going to help us? Or are you going to be a cop about Tyler! This? No, it's fine. Tyler, I know you resent me, but Fireweed was the best deal I could get you. I'm not mad about Fireweed, but I may be a little salty you kept my sister away for seven fucking years. <laughs> That's what this is about? Look, that was the court's recommendation. They're the experts. I just went along. Yeah, sure you did. Trust me, son. We all believed that what happened that night was self-defense, but we couldn't be sure. <laughs> I can't believe this. Look, we couldn't be sure, okay? I was trying to protect you both. So you still not sure? What? <sighs> you still think keeping us apart was the right call? She was traumatized. We needed each other to heal, and you took that away from us. So why didn't you let your sister visit when you turned 18 Uncle, then, huh? please, let's move on. She's never gonna tell you how much that hurt her. But it did. That was about me. It wasn't about her. Allison gets that. And three years is nothing compared to seven. Right, Allie? Oh. Eddie was just doing his best to protect me. To protect his family. I thought I was your family. You are. Seven years apart didn't change that. Ten years apart didn't either. But Eddie's family, too. Look, we've all fucked up. We've all hurt each other. But isn't that what family's for? Can't we just move on? Sounds like the right call. <laughs> Times like this, I, I wonder who raised who. We're gonna stay the night at the old house. We better get going. You wanna grab a bite first? It's on me. Don't wanna send you out there with empty stomachs. I would not turn that down. Okay. 
Let's go. Did you guys see a lost and found? Because we might have missed it. But I didn't see one. So I didn't know. But going and stealing those keys. Uh, okay, creepy. Hmm. That was extremely creepy. You guys saw that, right? <laughs> yeah. Oh, look, the Mad Hunter. Maybe that's who she was shooting. The Mad Hunter. Or was he picturing his mom as the Mad Hunter? Please, Mom. I'm sorry I cut my hair. I won't do it again. I'm going to kill you! No, please, please. Mom, no. Mom, please. No, don't do this. I knew it. The sister's the one who actually killed her. And he took the fall. That's a little confusing because like the way they lined it up, it looked like it looked like the Mad Hunter was behind him. So like was the mom trying to was the mom trying to kill the Mad Hunter or is she the Mad Hunter whenever she was like in her moments you know because like if she's writing these stories she could have easily been writing about the mad hunter who was like you know a split personality or her dark side because of her drug abuse or whatever you know but it could have also yeah interesting so we'll get another chapter next week Well, that's what I was thinking. Like, it could have been the Mad Hunter was behind him and she was trying to kill the Mad Hunter um, because the Mad Hunter was, like, you know, tormenting or whatever and she didn't want it to kill the kids. Or, you know, the Mad Hunter is her other part. No, I, I don't think it's out yet. Does anyone know when it comes out? Could search it up, find out. Ugh. Such a good story, though. Oh my gosh. I'm excited. Super excited. Not. Not bad, though. Hmm. 
My ears still kind of hurt a little bit. September 3rd. Okay. Word. So we're going to have to play it. Definitely. Oh, wait. That's Thursday, isn't it? It is on Thursday. Oops. Yeah, we won't play it on on Thursday. Well, no, I can't I can't play on Thursday cuz I'm going to be at uh Res Rocks. And then the fourth is when the Marvel game comes out. So I don't know. Maybe we'll we'll play the second chapter and then start Marvel so that way we have like another week to finish the Marvel game before the next chapter comes out. Because if I start the Marvel game, then I'm probably going to want to keep playing that. And then we won't, you know, start on the next one. The next chapter. So. Do like you did today. Wait. Do like what? Like I did today. Like, play the whole thing. Do it next Monday. Oh, like wait a couple days. Mm, we'll see. I might end up doing it on Friday. Because I'll probably play it as soon as possible, so that way I can start the Marvel game. <laughs> well, I plan to upload uh, the VODs to YouTube of this. So we'll get to, um, if you end up missing it, then, then we, you can just watch it there as well. But I hope you get to watch along too. I need my detective helpers, you know, and to depict the story. Vod schmod. Eh, schmeh. Schmeh. Oh, yeah. This is going to be an awesome game. I'm already super excited about it. That was a great story. Very good. Um, no plans. Uh, nothing. I haven't planned anything yet. The only thing I have planned currently is food because I'm literally starving. So I'm going to make some dinner and then I don't know. I have no idea. I have, I might make like a, like a burrito bowl kind of thing, like all the things you would put in a burrito, but in a bowl. It is Kirby. Hoi. <laughs> yeah, so like some, some beans and meat and rice and like cheese and some vegetables and stuff. Yeah, right? Just be like Kirby. Hope. <laughs> yes, sour cream salsa. Exactly. I figured there was sunshine. That's why I'm watching them. I always watch the credits when I finish a game or chapter. But great story. Another good job. Did you, Sunshine, did you ever play uh, Life is Strange or Life is Strange 2? Whoa, you could throw it in the water? They were really good. I enjoyed it. Um, what did you pick, Sunshine? 
Did you accept the ring or did you throw it away? I decided to accept it just because she's my sister. Also this, did you do the puzzle or did you bust down the door? I want to see Sunshine's answers. Can I switch? Oh, so does that, is that going to give me you, me and you? You did the puzzle. Oh, you refused it. Tyler felt safe with his sister and sister. Damn mouse. Hmm. So, I didn't know that it was going to make me side with them, you know? So, for this one, uh, I guess I did side with him uh, because I was, I was just trying to be positive and be like, you know, he did what he thought was best, but still, I think that, you know, obviously, I, you know, didn't want to be separated. I don't know. Mm, I don't remember that part. Oh, it tells me which one I picked. Doi. Wait, you could have learned the truth? <gasps> what was the truth? Tell me. What was the truth? See, I messed up. I didn't get the truth. I need to know. I know. So what oh, now? Hold on. Well, he's obviously not going to give us the truth. So I say we go get it ourselves. Wait, you're not seriously thinking of breaking and entering a police archive? Go big or go home. Well, we already have the password. Yeah, I definitely went with, with Bayan's choice on that one. As soon as I saw you type October afterwards, I was like, no, because <laughs> I knew, obviously, you knew the answer. But what, what was the truth? You have to tell me. I need details. I have to know. I'm going to switch scenes really quick. <laughs> Oh, was it? Ugh, sorry. I forget to turn it down sometimes. It's because you guys got me turned up so loud. Dude, my eye has been bothering me. Like the whole stream. Well, the game, this game was probably pretty quiet, so they probably just had it turned up really loud. What? Mary, you think Marianne was stealing? Really? But, like, she was getting stuff for free anyways. Mm, I don't know if it's pet hair. It's like, I think it's my contacts. I'm not sure. My pancake games.
Yeah, maybe that's what it was. Maybe she gave her... I think she gave her the pamphlet because she had the email. Yes, which one? Which one, Sunshine? We have to know. You have to know. Wait, what was that word I learned today? I learned a couple. Hold on. Um... No, not that one. It was when the... No, it was when the bear grabbed the salmon. And that's why I grabbed this. I was like, we have to know. <laughs> As I grabbed my microphone, I was trying to use it. Daftly. Okay. Daftly. I remember that. So it was something about the pamphlet, just that she she just suggested it, you know, like gave it to her. Okay. That's not too much information then. We already pretty much knew it by looking at the, uh, what's it called? Uh, by looking at the computer. That's what I was trying to say. I got very distracted there for a second. <laughs> All right, we are going to raid so that I can cook some dinner, and I see that Raven is on, so I think we're going to give Raven a raid here. Waist deep in Malibu. <laughs> mm. So it might be that since it's already, like since it's a chapter, um, that you only have to buy the game once. And then it'll just have an update with the next chapter. Maybe. It's possible. Okay, okay. So, oh, uh, Kiki, hi. We are actually just about to raid. So, hi and bye at the same time because I just finished uh, the first chapter of Tell Me Why, and we are going to make some dinner because I'm super hungry. So it's already in the game? Okay, cool. Cool, cool. All right, well, I'm going to queue up this raid and have some dinner. I will uh, pop into Discord here in a bit to chat with you guys and whatnot. But I don't think that, uh, I don't know if I'm going to play or get back on and play games or not. Can you redeem handstand? Um, I suppose. I could do it really quick. I'd have to move my camera, though. Oh, okay. Cool. Well, then I'm going to raid. You've got a date with your bed. Well, have a good night. Sleep well. Sleep well. Okay. I'm raiding, you guys. Thanks for hanging out and watching it. Uh, we're going to upload the VOD to YouTube also. So if you guys wanted to watch what you missed or something. See you guys later. Okay, now they're working.